Hello, my friends, my beautiful people. It is Friday. Thank God. It's TGIF. <laughs> Thank God. You know? Finally, man. Um, joined today by the beautiful, the lovely, the fertile. <laughs> I don't Thank know. That's a, that's a weird compliment, right? <laughs> uh, Ela Klein. Thank you. We love her. Thank you. We love her, folks. Today's episode uh, episode is sponsored by Hexclad and Shopify. Thank you to our wonderful sponsors. We love, love, love. Mm -hmm. Ela looks fantastic. Your hair, I love the hair. Thank you. <laughs> you 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 got rid of the extensions. I got rid of it. And I'm I, loving your natural hair color. Thank you. I needed to feel free. It felt like I was in prison. Tant. Basically. And um, it was actually when Shredder passed, I felt like I just want to feel like naked in a way, if it makes sense. You wanted to that was some way. That was when I took the extensions off. I was like, uh. I don't want this on me right now. Mm. I just want to feel like clean. So you really feel them when they're in there. Oh my God. So uncomfortable. I don't, I like your I hair feel like this. this. I don't think you need to do all that. Okay. <laughs> you have beautiful hair. It's thick, too. You don't even need to deal with all that. Thank you. I just, I had this idea of, like, going from short to long, you know, which was why I did it. Yeah. I just wanted to have, like, long hair for a minute. Yeah. It was cool, but. We're back. Very uncomfortable. We're, we're so back. <laughs> um, today, we have uh, so much to Talk about, in fact, we were, um, we were in the laboratory with the title for about an hour because we had so much to jam in there, you guys. We have a PowerPoint presentation. I'm excited for that one. About uh, Joe Jonas. Is he the worst of the Jonases? Do we not like Joe? Or Go to Joe. Well, how, can we put the Jonas Brothers on a tier list? <laughs> Joe. Frankie, of course, being number one. Absolutely, S tier. S -tier. Yeah. yeah, easy. So, yeah. so can we do that? A tier list of the Jonas Brothers? Do we want to so hit it them. after? <laughs> I mean, the we story? we have to learn yeah, about the situation. So let's do that. I don't know much about the other two. Of I the... could give you a rundown on them. Okay, as well, so let's we... do a tier list. Go to Joe. And Frankie will be number one. Everybody stands, Frankie. Absolutely. Oh wow, I'm getting an update that there is a. Israeli Discord up and running. <laughs> there you go. Congratulations. Up and strong, guys. So we've got that. We've got uh, <laughs> Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis. I haven't talked about this yet, but I've been following it. It's pretty interesting. They're set to fight. Yeah. But um, this guy, Dylan Dennis, who seems like a real psychopath, oh. has been, and by the way, I mean, he's doing it to Logan Paul that makes me feel less bad. But then he's doing it to his fiance. He's like terrorizing them. Uh, so much so that Logan Paul's fiance is trying to get a restraining order against Oh my God. Him. And I mean, you know, you always go, well, how much is this is fake? How right. much is this is real? Well, especially with the Paul brothers. But this guy, Dylan, the shit he's saying yeah. is like shit you wouldn't say, right? Okay, I haven't seen anything. Well, we can, we can come that, to the conclusion. So. It's wild. This guy's mm -hmm. out of control, dude. This guy, Dylan. But it couldn't happen to a worse person, you know? Couldn't happen. I mean, he like, he was wearing the, I think he bought the exact hat, or if it was the hat, but he got the same hat from the suicide forest, and he's been wearing it and shit. Oh. <laughs> so Talking kinda, about his scams uh, and everything, like really right just now. going all the way down, going all the way down on him. I really hate to say this. I know it. <laughs> I know it. And so then the other big one is, uh, what? Gay Obama. Oh, yeah, Gay Obama. We've been, I've been so oh, yeah. <laughs> That's huge. Okay, I'm very this excited to hear. Man. That's the biggest story. Gay Obama. Yeah. Gay yeah, Obama. Scandal. Sounds legit. Yeah, it's... I agree. <laughs> yes, and. I'm yes, anding this. So I can't wait to. <laughs> Well, and dick too, apparently. <laughs> and crack. <laughs> and dick and crack too. And dick too. Oh, he said and dick too. That's How'd edit. you do that? <laughs> it was a group project between me and Dan, but I had an idea. I'm like, instead of him saying pussy, he had to say dick for the segment. Play it again? 
And Dick too. I can do that. <laughs> did you did you take grab it from somewhere else? Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney is a thing. So of course Obama has said the word dick a million times. Okay. Yeah. So you put the dick in. Yeah, yeah we sounds you good. Thank in. you. Yeah. You I put the dick in. It was it was a, sounds really clean. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. One more time. And Dick too. That's dick really too. good. That's really that's good. Edit. <laughs> that's good. I like that. So um I think Um, so as I was saying on One Piece, I, I was saying that I have to eat crow today a little bit. Really? Why? Because I was t talking about how huh. <laughs> One Piece, um, was going to be awful. I said, there's zero oh, percent yes. chance. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, uh, okay. I was you right there with you. mad shit on it. And so we watched the whole thing. Yep. Hila watched the whole damn thing with me. Mm-hmm. I like it. And, um... <laughs> Shit, I gotta say, especially by the end of it, I thought it was really good. Pretty sold, yeah, huh? Me too. And I walked in the first thing, and Ian's sitting there with a big eye. He's like happy. He's like excited to talk <laughs> about One Piece. Yeah, Ian. <laughs> yep, the first time I've ever smiled. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, I, I got into it. Like I said before the show, I looked up five episodes of the Netflix show. It's like 40 episodes of the anime. So I like the lesser time commitment. I can't do a right. thousand episodes. But I was getting into it. Okay, well, so, I'll say this. They're each an hour long, so that's like three episodes. So it's like three times True. eight. So it's like 24, but I'll tell you this. If you're trying to get into One Piece, I would actually say watch the first show. Watch Netflix instead of season one, because it's yeah. condensed, it's good, it doesn't leave anything yeah. out, and it's, it's, I think it's pretty true to the, to the anime, and it's, it's really well done, it's and it's true. fun. I, I, would, I would recommend that over the first season. Yeah, as someone who's never seen the anime, I, I've been enjoying the show. I'm curious now to watch a little if more. If you want to continue the anime, it basically picks up right where it left off yeah. in season two. So, mm -hmm. pretty cool. That's basically what I started doing now. Because I, I left the sh Netflix show feeling like I want more. And now I was ready to get into the anime. Where before, I always felt like this is a beast. I can't get into it. Too it much. is, yeah. yeah. But you know all the characters. Mm -hmm. You go in. I will say the first... The first arc out of that was pretty mm, long <laughs> and dull, but now you're getting into the part, mm -hmm. the better part. Yeah, the grand line. The grand line, baby. You know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. So okay, I'm glad you're enjoying it. But there you go. I have to apologize to uh, also, Luffy and the gang. While we're here talking about culture, <laughs> Salt Lake City Housewives just started. Shit's boring. <laughs> It actually is quite boring. I'll tell you what's my problem. We watched the, yeah, the we watched season premiere. So Jen Shaw's in jail. Yeah. She's gone. And these women are so full of themselves. <laughs> so like they show up. They're all like in the most designer brand. Like these women, they're, they're, they're such fashion slaves in like the literal mm -hmm. sense. They've Everything got, they wear has like the big branding on it. it they're just... They're, they just they think they're too important the now. They're literally, and you're just nobodies. Like, you all need to, like, it's not they're as funny not anymore. Nobodies. They are. They're nobodies. They need to understand nobody. that. They're housewives. Well, it's not fun when they're housewives. I, yeah. Better nobody. when they're nobodies. Yeah. You know, like, they're not as catty. They're more, um, they're too important now. I feel like they're like, ooh, I got to look good on the show. Mm -hmm. Where before, they were calling, they were calling each other Shrek. <laughs> One of the girls there is like a little bigger bodied, mm -hmm. like big boned, not even like fat necessarily. She's just big boned. I feel like and the other ladies were calling her Shrek, bro. <laughs> oh my God. That's brutal. crazy, right? Yeah. And so that's the show that I want to watch. I see. Yeah. I, um, Lucy Goosey here said Heather thinks she's the shit. Exactly. Heather's become so annoying. Is that the one they were, that's the one that they were calling Shrek? Yes. Yeah. Oh. 
So they were. She used to know, be something. very lovable, and then she became kind of like the most hated. I feel like. Well, anyway, you know what I mean. Uh, what can you say? I'm still gonna watch it. Don't get me wrong. All right. Anyway, so um, one thing. Oh yeah, Teddy Fresh Drop is out yesterday. Mm-hmm. Quickly here, it's all available right now at TeddyFresh.com. When I die, put my money in the grave. That's the Teddy Fresh version. Delete my <laughs> browser history when I die. Um, the skirt that she's wearing, I'm wearing too right Show now. It. Cargo skirt. Skirt, skirt. Thank you so much. It's that a would perfect say- shot to show. The skirt. Do the rappers say skirt, skirt? What did this app mean? Oh, They're God. talking about this? They're talking about skirts? Yeah, that. Driving. Sometimes driving in a skirt. Oh, it's about the <laughs> wheels? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Got but it. But also the cargo skirt. This is a sick fire outfit, man. Oh, mm-hmm. It's like 100 degrees today in LA, so. <laughs> I was forced to wear a short sleeve. But, um. It's a you guys want to show off what, here in Los Angeles? Everyone kind of grabbed the piece. Everyone's you guys wearing wanna... something, yeah. Love is loving this piece here. Yep, the yeah, chrome love bear. Dota. <laughs> mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. love it. We're feeling it. I think it's it. so sick. I love the the three D bear vibe. Hell yeah. Cool. Who else? Dad. <laughs> and the iconic. Um, Dad. How do we call that? Son. Watercolor dyed. Ice dye, I think. Watercolor dyed. Uh, Zach in the crop top. <laughs> Mesh. I tried to wear that one, but I just wasn't pulling it off, frankly. You were. I was so excited for you guys to be matching wearing that. I wasn't ready. All the girls thought you were pulling it off. Okay, well. This is the only girly who matters. Now look at this. That's just a beautiful plaid shirt right there, boy. I'll tell you what, Mm -hmm. man. I ain't never seen goddamn no goddamn plaid jacket like that, boy. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyone else? Yeah, this is the one I have on screen. That one's great. Yeah, I love it. It's... So sick. Hell yeah. <laughs> Sherpa, right? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah. It's warm these... today, but it's worth it. Okay, <laughs> these pants are fire. I might need some of these. Really? Yeah. Whoa. And what is it made of? Just twill? Corduroy. Oh, it's corduroy? Yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, I think I might Very need light these. corduroy. Yeah, can I get one of these? Uh, yeah. Sure. I poop my pants. Yeah, my pleasure. Pull, yeah, I never pull pants for Ethan, so. Yeah, yeah. This is the first time <laughs> in I really like them. History. I think they're really good. They're really cool. I wonder what size you would be. I don't know, because I'm going down to large now in shirt size. I don't think my waist weirdly shrunk that much. Well, it did, but... It did. Maybe it's like a 38 now instead of like a 46. Mm. Well, we got your (laughs) measurements recently for the streamies. That's true. Right. You were a 46 waist? Yeah. Dude, it was nuts, bro. And almost not fitting into that. shit. Dude, it was nuts. My waist... My, I've always had like a, a very voluptuous waist size. <laughs> Damn. And like even now there's no exception. Even now I'm like a 38 still, I would imagine. But I was 40 fucking. I mean, I was not even 48. Yeah, I think so. Good because for you, man. Because at one man. point, even those pants we bought in Vegas didn't fit. Yeah. Good for you, man. That you should be proud of yourself. Yeah. Well, it was getting pretty dire. I, I can't lie. Well, there's a clip we're gonna watch today from like a year ago when I was. It's weird. I don't remember myself like being looking like that, but we'll see it. Yeah, delete. Th- I mean, it looks good on him. He's trendier than my ass. It's just the silhouette of this T-shirt is just a little more short, so that's what he's talking it's about. Trendier than what I like to wear. <laughs> um, what else we got? Yeah, this hat's fire. With the COVID, thank you. Zach said it looks like COVID. Th- or who was that? Dan. 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 Thank you, Dan. <laughs> For pointing that out. You guys don't remember these you had piercings that? from like when we were younger? I remember them. It's nostalgic. It's a piercing? Yeah. Yeah. People remember- used to have it in their belly button. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? I do. Yeah. It looks that. like lint. Why would you want that in your belly no, it's button? It's like silicone Yeah. It's like a little squishy. Don't do squishy. that. Don't put that in your belly button. It's better on your hat. <laughs> um, this is cool. We get it kind of like a retro long sleeve. This sweater's fire, super yeah. hot. This is our first shirt ever. Yep. Reissued, remastered. Anyone else got anything else they want to? They're wearing. I got the 404 on right now. Oh, the long sleeve. <laughs> nice. Nice. Yep. nice. Click it. Live it. This man Love it. Love it. right now. Teddyfresh.com. Click the, the year 1990. Oh, I have the um, striped shirt on. 
Oh, yes. Yes, girl. Yes. My yes. favorite part is the back of it, actually. Let's see it. Yes. 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 Oh, nice. oh they had to cool. do it. Oh, I didn't even Why? notice that. Why'd they That's have to so go cool. that hard? Huh. They didn't have to do that. I have the skirt on, the black cargo mm. skirt. It's really cute. Yes. Um, nice. Eva was wearing that, and really I thought she looked anything. so good yeah. today. <laughs> yeah, Thank you. Really nice. Well done. And you're Thank wearing you. something. Yeah, this cardigan is a new colorway of the old one. This one is black with Love that pink. piece. Yeah. Love it. So classy. So beautiful. It really is just such a beautiful piece. All right, Thank there that is. So oh, here's the clip. Speaking of which, I was saying I used to look different. So here it is. It's right at the top. It's a clip somebody posted of me saying I would get a tattoo if one of our dog passed away. I don't know if this is before we I don't even remember started. this. This I feel like it must be before. Well, it was the Rick and Morty time. When was that? That's this... a long time ago. So Shredder wasn't even sick then. Because Shredder only got sick this year. Okay, well that's fucked. Because I was like, God, dude, that's never gonna happen. He's gonna live forever. And, uh... That didn't turn out to be true. But, here I am. Uh, and let's Great both... Great freeze frame on you. Let's, 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 let's both listen to what I say and <laughs> how I look here. <laughs> Muted? No audio. Oh. Play that again, Zach. All right. Oh, come on, bro. That's not... <laughs> no. If you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds... Okay, well, I was 5'11", 300 pounds. Thank you. God, if you're five foot three <laughs> pounds... Dude, 5'3", 300 pounds. Okay, they're out there. I already w went down this road, and they're yeah. like, we look, we're fine, they're and I said, yeah, you're fine. Anyway, here I am. I think the only thing I would ever tap is, like, the memorial tattoo. Hmm. Of who? Like, if somebody died? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to yeah. say it, you know what I mean? That's what I mean. <laughs> I mean, yeah, so, like, if the dogs die... Uh, I, that's, I didn't want to say it, because that's right. what I was thinking, because I was like, you know. Yeah. God, God forbid, you know, don't even mm -hmm. whisper that into the world. When the dogs die, okay. I'm gonna tat them. I... But other than that, something that was like a very deep meaning, I probably mm -hmm. would do. I'll definitely get a Shredder and Alfredo tattoo. <laughs> someday. I don't know what that is about, but I'll take it. Not much else going on for me there. <laughs> yeah, can you believe? I mean, it's, wow, it's shocking. Yeah. I have this weird body image thing where... When I was really heavy, I didn't think I was heavy as I was, and when I was really fit, I wasn't as fit as I thought I was. I thought I was heavier. Is that weird? Hmm. How do you explain that? A form of body dysmorphia, maybe. There's probably a way to describe that. Well, because when I was big, I thought I was not as big. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the weird part? I, I to compare, no, I'm I the same way as you. As well. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Really? That's that's, that's so interesting. Because when I look back at this, I'm way heavier than I remember seeing in the mirror. Well, when you looked in the mirror, you were just seeing you at the time. You weren't like, oh, this is Ethan plus X many pounds. You were just mm -hmm. like, oh, this is me. Today. You were used to it. Yeah. You know? yeah. Because I remember when the Nikocado thing came up and you're like, <laughs> you guys aren't, you're not that different. That like fucked. I was like, what are you guys saying right now? Yeah. I that, think that's a little far -fetched. I think that was yeah, fun, that, that, even at the time. I think well, that was, yeah. but I guess... It was a multiple factors of what I was trying to say is like, don't talk about his weight. Yeah. Cause when I'm looking pretty heavy, yeah. And I yeah. only saw him from the waist up. I didn't know what he looked like the rest of the body. By the way, Nick Okada's on a weight loss journey, isn't he? How's he looking these days? I is, haven't is checked in a minute, back? but he did look great last Pull time Pull him up. I Let's saw. see what really? he's looking like. Yeah, yeah. he was losing weight. He's back on uh, the avocado mukbangs <laughs> and the carrot mukbangs. Seems like a lot of people in the chat are feeling the same as you described. Okay, so... Yeah, so like if the dogs die... Bas uh, I, oh, the dogs ba basically, die. whatever's the, the least healthy way to view my body, that's how right. I do it. Yeah. So, um, anyway, mm. the point of the video is basically I said that I would get a tattoo. Okay to honor shredder yeah and i didn't forget about it people were saying if they're curious if i remembered saying this and i didn't i did remember it's the first thing i not the first thing but i immediately was thinking about it pretty pretty recently and wondering is this from recently 
Two months ago. Reveal. Oh, he's revealing. Is this the reveal? Yeah. Oh. Came out April okay. 2023. So he's doing, it looks like it's going really well for him. You're joking, but I I could tell that he's lost a lot of weight here. I agree. I'm reading an article that says he lost Five, 90 seven. pounds. 90? Oh. Yeah, he was much bigger than that. It's amazing. Oh my right. God. I see he's not really trying to look skinny now, but right. 90 pounds, my goodness. Keep going, brother. Yeah. Let's keep it going, brother. Ah. Well, you can see it in his face when you go eight days ago. It seems like he's... Okay, Let, can I just remind you that this guy got mad at me for calling him, for talking about his body? This man is wearing a fucking, like, oxygen tank so that he can survive eating a ton of Takis. Whatever that is. What's Takis? Why does he, why is his, his lips black like he's lost oxygen to his fucking blood? <laughs> <laughs> Look at this shit. He's leaking. The I'm sound sorry. is like a whole series, I see. They I think repeat. It's, it's stained his uh, lips, like the dye <clears throat> from the Takis. What and the hell here, is Takis? It's weird. It's some weird thing. I don't like them. It's like kind of like a hot Cheeto, I guess, would be the best. But it's comparison. blue. Yeah. Hot Cheetos are good. So much better. So much better. Uh, hot Takis are posed. Blue heat is the flavor. Let's oh, order one. Oh I've never God. tried the blue. Let's muck that. Oh, the blue ones are pretty blue. good. Yeah, they're just more, more flavor. Let's try it. It's yummy. Makes, it makes your blue. You, you want us to order some Takis right now? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's get Red some and blue going. to to test. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Good variety. Because, like, I tried them for the first time ever, like, a month ago. Ten you did? <laughs> oh, what? The gas really? And That's we funny. did not like it. <laughs> um, anyway, so. Here, this, uh, what Love just sent shows the, uh. Okay. Yeah. Wow. You can definitely wow. call yeah, the difference there. That glow up, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he is glowing. Get it, brother. We're rooting for you. All right, come on, Oliver. Could you really always have to? He's trying his best. There's no need to. Of his bag of takis. <laughs> By the way, Oliver Anthony was on. Uh, did Joe Rogan? Oh yeah, he did Jordan Peterson's podcast. That's what he did. Wait. Oh. Who? Oliver Anthony, the fudge round guy. Af Who's after Joe Rogan? Yeah. After you're not confusing it? Oh, I had no. Heard he about just that. did it. He just oh. did it. Oh, Mister, Sick. I'm not a conservative. I just do Tucker, Jordan Peterson, yeah. Joe Rogan, and what's his name? Was, that, there, was there anything interesting there? I haven't watched it. Mm -hmm. What's interesting was the thumbnail. Jordan Peterson got new teeth. Yeah. He did. He got uh, he got a whole. You know, I've had people of, uh, say that I'm a fence veneers. sitter and that I, I need to have some sort of call. Oh God, look at it. it's already crying about being offensive in the very beginning. Action. Oh, I see. And I guess like if there's anything that I would respond to that with, a Pharisee asked Jesus, "Teacher, which is the greatest commandment oh in the law?" And Jesus replied, "Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, Just and not with all the your fatties. mind." Right. And this is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is, love your neighbor as yourself. If we could learn- I'm sorry, but like, who fucking cares, bro? I'm not here for Bible study, man. Just play your damn banjo. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Nobody wants to watch this, I don't think. Go to Sunday school, bro. Uh, so here, let me show you before and after from Jordan's. So here's Jordan's teeth. Um, and you know, they're not bad teeth, it looks like. He, he's been around, you know, those are the kind of teeth that have been around the block. Mm -hmm. Hold it. He's had, they've, they've, they've went through a lot of Hold copies it. in their time. And sure. Who am I to judge, you know? But I'll say this, his new teeth, they look good. And look <laughs> at that big smile, man. He ain't never seen this man smile like that. Mm. Look how happy his ass is. Wow. It's like face up. What do you think? They actually look pretty good. Because sometimes people get it and I hate it, and yeah. I feel like it changed their face. No, those look good. I think Jordan got some good ass teeth. Yeah. Good chompers. He looks like nicer. He looks like, I don't know. Look at him. I need teeth like that. Did <laughs> I do that? Your teeth are perfect. I need Jordan's doctor. I don't like my teeth. You I, don't? I want the billion dollar smile. <laughs> I like your teeth. Dude, what I don't like good. is when I smile, yeah. I feel like they don't, they're not big enough or something and they don't show. Oh no, don't get bigger teeth. That's when it changes your face. Or maybe it's my lip. I don't know. There's something I don't like about my smile. 
<laughs> Your smile is very natural. <laughs> that looks good. Yeah, you just need Don't to tuck that little part. Don't change anything. Yeah, tuck that. Okay, tell me. That's beautiful. <laughs> that looks great. You should go get that snipped off. I wall. actually had a very exciting visit at the dentist. Exciting to me Ooh. because my whole life I've been so annoyed with this front tooth that I have here. Where I had to get a crown when I was younger, 18, in Israel. And they put like a, it's like a iron piece underneath and then the... And then the ceramic tooth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And now the black is showing. And so every time I smile, it's always like a little black here. And I've always been so hyper aware of it. Huh. Uh -huh. I've never noticed. Yeah, that. I've never noticed. Really? That. No. Oh, it's not. It now that you really... pointed it out, though. No. So I went to, the, to a dentist finally about it. And he was like, oh, it's so easy. We, can, we just, today we don't use this technology. So there doesn't need to be iron under there. And you don't need to have the dark part underneath. Oh, nice. And so, but I'm pregnant, so I can't do it right now. <laughs> but Because of the anesthesia or why? Um, probably, yeah. Probably that. And also just, they don't want to risk any they procedure. Don't around. Yeah. Because any sense. procedure could lead into infection or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not, you know. Yeah, I mean? yeah. so. So, but that's interesting because I remember you saw like a gum doctor and a dentist about it like, I don't know, five, six years ago. And they're like. We have experimental technology. I yeah, know. I, I don't like, know. Why? It sounded kind of like super complicated Didn't back then. I don't know why it was so complicated. I don't think they knew what they were talking about. Yeah. Regardless, look at these beautiful chompers he's got, man. Look at that. Uncle, Uncle Peterson is back, baby. He's so back. <laughs> and he's found Jesus. <laughs> to make that our priority it would resolve a lot of the conflicts that have become like way over complicated, you know? Let's put him in charge, man. God, get a load of this guy's fucking ego. <laughs> Kali, man, are you Jesus. serious right now? Jesus, That's bro. bizarre. <laughs> that is really megalomaniac. Hello, everyone watching and listening. Hello, everyone. After Today, all that. I'm speaking Today. with musician Chris Lunsford. Better known by his stage name, Oliver. One thousand percent, we should film one of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We should have to <laughs> Anthony. We it's just, it's like inside the actor's studio, but it's just him. It's just all about him. <laughs> Guess the balance between vision and efficiency in artistic. Wait, so this is him oh. with new teeth or old teeth? Well, commercial endeavors. Why the Chris thumbnails when so no, this is new teeth era. Rich men yeah. north of Richmond. Rich men rich north of Richmond. Richmond. <laughs> oh, but he's doing a bad job proving to us that he's not conservative based on his media tour. He's really trying, right? He is really trying. And then he, he's like, Oh, my next uh my next guest, my next podcast, a real interesting guy. What's his name? Uh Stephen King or what's the guy's name? Uh Richard Spencer, something like that. <laughs> Real good, interesting ideas. Nick Fuentes. How'd Stephen King get in the mix there? I just remember, <laughs> not the author. Right. Yeah, I, I, I watched something about him recently. Gotcha. Yeah, not the author. I was just, I was searching for names. <laughs> I was reaching into the dark for something. <laughs> um, so, okay, so yeah. So here's what I was talking about, the tattoo. So, yeah. I don't have any tattoos. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to expect from the process. I pretty much, I started looking for somebody about a week ago. And I found someone in LA that seems very good. And after some conversation and conversing and, you know, logistical planning, we have decided that I will be getting a portrait of Shredder. But not only that, and I'll tell you the date, <laughs> on the 27th of this month, Wednesday, off the rails, I'll be doing it live on the show. <laughs> wow. And he says it'll take about five hours, so we gotta get- Long episode. We gotta get to Wait, it. Wait, you're trying to do the whole thing in one session? Yeah. You don't think it's gonna no happen? No shot. Zero. Oh, really? He said Zero it takes- percent chance. Why? Because you think it's just too you, painful? Yeah. Really? Is it really, really painful? I mean, I it don't is, have a tattoo, is, so I can't tell, but I'll let AB explain. Because I don't like pain. <laughs> it is, it is yeah. painful. Uh, 
I think it'll be okay. That yeah. spot, it, it, I mean, everywhere hurts, but that's not as bad as some other places. I, I mm -hmm. saw, yeah. I was looking at a tattoo pain tier list, and this was the least. Yeah, because definitely. Because there's so much yeah. more... Oh, I don't know how much I got, but somebody does. <laughs> like, com compared to, like, right here. Thin. This, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's this thinness. I well, will... you, you got one here, right, A.B.? Yeah, yeah. And that one, that one... That was my first, like, big one. That one, it was, like, about six hours. Mm. And you did it all at once? In one? Yeah. So why is it that you think you're such a tough guy <laughs> and can do it and well, I can't? Well, you already had a bunch, right, A.B.? At that point? No, no, no this is my first, was my first, first very first one. one? Yeah, no, oh. first big one. I had first just the, the Arabic writing first, but... Gotcha. My tattoo artist was very hard to, like, uh, schedule and all that, and I had a busy schedule, so he was there. I had to just take advantage of it, have him finish up, otherwise I felt like it would have never been finished. So but. you wanted to bail? Oh, I definitely wanted to. After about like three hours, like your adrenaline runs out, and like it, at some point, it just feels like someone's like axing off your arm. So what mm -hmm. the fuck am I gonna do during the whole live show? You think I'm gonna be able to do the show? Then I don't. Maybe, I think it's gonna be very difficult. I think it's gonna be great. Yeah, sorry, Cam, because ahead. your arm has to be very still when they're doing it. So I can do that. I'll just do it like this because you can sit where Ela is. Sure, but just gonna, I'm gonna be like this. Yeah, I think it's gonna be difficult for you to. Yeah, and I'm a baby it. too, you know what I mean? Really loud. That was what I was more indicating loud. is um, the pain. Well, maybe if I wear pain tolerance seems my, relatively low. Well, <laughs> right, and then that's probably <laughs> true about me. I'm. I learned, uh, but but you know what can I do? I mean, the, I have to soldier through. I well, I asked you guys. I said, "Is this a good idea?" And everyone seemed to like the idea. I, I think. I it's, like do you want me to be here and yeah. um, hold your hand? Sure. Thank you, Alina. Maybe, can I just get, is there, can I get someone to give me like a shot to like kill oh, my nerves? Oh, to numb you know, your arm. Do they I, do that? I asked, Why not? I asked yeah. my artist that because I'm like, there's no way some people in Hollywood are sitting through this. And he said that in Hollywood, some people get some sort of uh, anesthetic or something. Dude, I saw um, the guys who do, are going to do my tattoo. Mm -hmm. It's like a whole team of them. And some people, they put them under. Because they do these massive full body jobs. Right. There was five of them working on him at the same time. Oh, and he was God. under anesthesia. Yeah. Mm. You um, should ask that, him. That makes sense, That's yeah. actually like, why not? The dentist does it, right? They, yeah. You know, yeah. They, at the place where I get my tattoos, they have like an old mach like alcohol dispenser machine, but it's like out of commission. And he explained to me that um, you should not drink before getting a tattoo because it makes you yeah. possibly bleed more. Yeah. Drinking? Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What, water? No, no, alcohol. I'm not drinking oh, alcohol. That's not a problem. <laughs> yeah. there, there is numbing cream that people take. That's but, not enough. That doesn't but, do shit. But artists recommend it too anyways. I don't know if it, why, but they just recommend against using it. My artist once said something. He said, you got to think about it like a rite of passage. And he was giving me some history on no, it. No, 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 and no. I no, was no. Like, that's right. what I was going to say. Ethan's you get, not going to. The, the, the pain silly. is part of the process. Yes, it is. No, it's Dan, not. Dan, do you have a tattoo? No. <laughs> then what the fuck are you saying? Uh, I want one. Listen, <laughs> listen. This is, I'm not trying to become a member of any club, okay? <laughs> I'm doing this for myself so that when I get up in the morning, when I'm getting ready for work or whatever my day, that I see my dog right here in yeah. the mirror and I never forget him. Okay, I mean. It's not, that's, I'm, not that's to, I'm not trying to prove myself. I'm not no, trying to be part of any yourself, fucking club. But like, you know what I mean? I, I'm, it's under my sleeve. I don't even want to like. You should ask him if he can do a little shot. I think you have to have some credential. I mean, he's just a tattoo guy. I'll ask. I'll message him right now. Because that way, would certainly make it easier to do the show. I'm, I'm thinking. You know what I mean? Well, that's a good point. That is a very good point. I am. By the way, tomorrow night I'm flying to New York for New York Fashion Week. Whoa! Whoa! That's yes. awesome. Oh, cool. How do you call that shot when it the numbing shot? What do the dentists call the it? Numbing shot. Novocaine? Novocaine. Novocaine. Mm. Is that what Oh, they that's the type of shot you were talking about. I thought you meant an it's... alcohol shot. Oh! I was oh, like, no. you want to take a shot oh, before the show? Oh, I understand. Yeah, we were all I was like, you never. I'm not doing that. <laughs> no, so is Novocaine, uh, uh, is that just for the mouth or is that anywhere? I don't know. I think the arm might be Benzocaine? Lidocaine. Lidocaine? Lidocaine? <laughs> don't lie to me. <laughs> Lidocaine? Um, a numbing shot? Okay, well that because that would be great. I have lidocaine cream that is great. Really? If you want to use some. Is yeah. it medical? How do you get that? No, I got it on Amazon, I think, but it's like a it's it I don't feel anything when I put it on. 
It's really? great. Really? Yeah. I'm because I, I don't believe I'm in the skeptical. Creams. Yeah, I don't believe. Well, let's buy some of those. In case. I have it in my car. Do you want to try it? Yes. Okay. Let's okay. do that right now. That's a good idea. <laughs> okay. Or maybe I put another um, one. But I was going to say, places. I'm returning back from New York Tuesday night. So technically, if you want, I could be on the show. Yes, please. I mean, I need as much support as I can get. Although he's going to be sitting here, so we'll have to set you up. We can set you up. A Are you doing this arm? Yeah. I think so. You think I should do this arm? I don't know why I thought it would I be could, the other one. I could one. do it on. I can. He can sit here, and then you can sit. Should I do my left or right arm? I don't know. I was feeling a left arm. I don't know why. What's if your you're, dominant uh, arm? I will say if because you're right-handed. Yeah, that's a good question. Right. So, um, if left. you are trying to do a live show right. while you're getting you a tattoo, having your right this one. hand available would probably be helpful to trying to do that. I can do it with my left hand, though. Yeah, I mean, this is a lifelong decision, so yeah. I guess don't base it on your convenience for one day. But I, mean, I always imagine it on my right. I don't really? know. I like okay, that too. So it's like right. your primary arm. It's put it on my primary arm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's like a little bit symbolic. Go for I, it. Then. I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go for it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What do we think? Do we like the idea? Do we like the idea? Or do we love the well, idea? Because there's well, it is off the rails, so people can't expect much. At least we're we're keeping it. You know, make sure you moisturize your arm before. I have thick Italian hair and always get some sort of ingrown hair or irritation. Yikes. Well, I have, I don't, okay. All right, I'll do that. Um, You're giving me tattoo fever. I want to get more now. So <laughs> do you like the pain, Cam? I don't like the pain, but I like the artistry of it. I mean, the pain's whatever, you just deal with it. I'm but, in pain. Uh, so don't Ow. do a show. <laughs> what do you do during the process, Cam? I just close my eyes and I try to focus on the pain and just it, being mindful of it. Focus helps. on the pain? Yo, just that's being hardcore. Mindful of it helps. I don't know. Just focus on the pain, bro. That's sick. Just I just close my eyes and I feel it. You know, these these were fucking brutal. The the fingers. Oh yeah. Honestly, I was gonna suggest that to you, that placement, but I was like, no, nah, Ethan wouldn't want my that. My fingers? Yeah. How? What? Finger For is Shredder? by How? far the most painful like I've ever done. Like a little gotten. portrait there. Oh, a tiny little finger portrait? Yeah. <laughs> it's so small. I have like a butterfly that has shading <laughs> on my finger. This one fucking hurt so bad. The oh, others yeah. I was fine with. This one, it felt like someone was just like scraping at my skin. Oh, like a way. Um, it yeah. was horrible. With Ethan, I wasn't worried so much about the whole tattoo, just the shading. The shading is going to be painful. Mm. Well, but it's I'm getting a photorealistic... It's so, and this guy seems so really fucking shading. good. Oh yeah, they'll be shading. Oh. But it's just black. There's no color. It's just black. Yeah. Thank God. So glad you don't want color. <laughs> You're not a down with color tats? No. Same. So I was muted. That was one of your that big like things about, uh, about the Affleck tattoo. Yeah. I remember you, you said <laughs> color tattoos in general you don't like, and then the Affleck one in particular. Well, I'm not getting color. It was never my plan. I just want a nice <laughs> photorealistic, uh, you know, black grayscale. What's oh, the deal God. with color? I feel like you want to get up. shredder all over your back. <laughs> it's no. a huge shredder like this. I don't want to do it on my back because I would never see it. I want to see it. You know what I mean? Sure. Everyone vouches fingers are bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I have fingers and toes. Nothing is worse than top of foot. Mm. Oh, I can imagine. I can see Fuck. that hurting. A what lot. about forehead? <laughs> no, I feel like bring it. Bad. Sam's got it. All right. So how do we test this? Let, let's do it on my. Now, that? why do you just have that on you, Sam? <laughs> oh, okay. oh, is that painful? So this, I just squeeze it and it comes out. Try a little bit, cause you 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 get all these yeah, crazy like, rashes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like that. That's enough. You want to do it? That's. Isn't that you, plenty? Yeah, I'll be fine. You're known she to have like left. these weird like, reactions to like things. I think you should show. I'm sh it's fine. <laughs> I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> I put it all over my Dude, I never get rashes. <laughs> right, right, right. My bad. It's, it will Didn't exactly this happen on an episode once? Like we put something on in your <laughs> face like that? Was fire? Steroid cream. The I, I don't thing? care. You know, oh, yeah, it's like the cream or something. Talk all right, so how long do I wait now? Okay, fire. How do we test it? And then get a, a pen I and let's stab. Start stabbing you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Get a knife and start slicing. <laughs> and how long does it last? 
usually like 30 to 45 minutes for me. Wow. So we'll have to be reapplying that. A mm. we'll, keep, we'll have to need a bucket of that shit, boy. Maybe he does know someone, because like I said, here, look, I don't want to dox him yet. Obviously, I'm looking forward to promoting him when he comes on, but I don't, I don't necessarily want to say it already, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. people, yeah, no. people will go like, I don't know. People Bug them. Weird. Yeah. You just don't know. Um, but what I will say is I want to show you this one of the, of the person under with like five people working on him. So crazy. They'll be able to find They'll them know instantly who it from is that picture. Just I doubt it. When you yeah, I, Here. <laughs> Look at that. People are smart. Look at that. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> There's like f five people working on him. Dude, that's nuts. Is that normal for multiple people to work on the same tattoo at once? I've never seen that. Never seen it. Mm -mm. Sure. There it is. I what do you guys think? Iron. I use numbing cream when I... Lidocaine is super safe Wait, and you're... gentle. Oh, is that... oh sorry. I, I was just saying that I used uh, numbing cream when I did my lip filler and it did not help. <laughs> he was with me, help. and I was like squeezing his hand the whole time. Mm. Oh, they give you shit. like um, a little tool to put against your face, but that wasn't helpful. Dude, the cream is bullshit. Yeah, I, in my I, experience, I don't, the cream is bullshit. I don't have any faith in the cream. I don't, you know what I mean? Just skip the cream. Was that real painful, Lena? I think so, yeah. Because mm. the lips are sensitive. Mm -hmm. She was squeezing the shit out of mm -hmm. my hand. Yeah. It was wow. like a mix of the pain uh, you know. and then also like the anticipation because you don't, you've never felt anything like that before. Mm -hmm. So I, I didn't know what to expect. And is the needle in for a while? Mm -hmm. All the cream. It's like oh, you feel really? it go in oh. and then like stuff going into your lips. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. It's, it's really <laughs> it ain't easy being a. Uh... Call it cream. Ooh. There's a price to beauty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every right. budding beauty. Mm. Budding beauty. Yeah, but if I can get the shots, then I'll just do that. Hell yeah. Oh, you know what? Maybe that one doctor would do it for me. If you weren't doing the show, Not I not. would suggest Holy. like just taking a Xanax and falling asleep. I don't know if that would help me. I would just still be in pain. They, they did that one time for me at the dentist. Oh, yeah. So that's they gave why you, I'm saying it. Right. I don't know. They gave you like a super Valium or something. I like passed out. You got Xanax? I, I mean, I don't have any. You, no, I don't have any. You know where to get any, me but, some? I mean, <laughs> I feel like this, the tattoo artist will know all this stuff. No, I don't know. But he's not a doctor. Well, he definitely knows. You think he can get some street drugs? He recommendations, at least. Yeah. 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 Yo, bro, can you get me some street drugs no, to go no, with my not tattoo? Like that. <laughs> okay. You just showed him doing like five people on a person that was put under. Yeah, so that they had so. a doctor there, clearly, because mm -hmm. you need an anesthesiologist mm -hmm. for that. I think you'll be okay. Though. Yeah, this you'll really be fine. Is the least painful area. Well, y'all got you're the ones that got me all fucking thinking about it. <laughs> Everyone's like, "Oh boy!" I just remember the period simulator. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, that was a weird one. The show element is really <laughs> the curveball in my in my right factoring. Here. People are saying ketamine. What do you guys think about that? <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. I mean, Xanax I'll would work. be a fun episode. That'd be weird and wild. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I don't trust you on. Well, I've got, oh, the, we got button. the button. Personally, I think the pain <laughs> would be funny if it hurts for the show. It's a funny element. I thought sure. so too, but if it's Not like for five hours, incapacitated though. for five hours, yeah. that won't be but funny. Are we really going to do a five hour show? I feel like you're going to want to stop at like half. Maybe. That's what I was saying is like just do it in two sessions, you know? Yeah. Maybe. We'll yeah. see. I mean, yeah, if, if I want to, we'll just obviously deal with it later. Yep. Cool. Cool. Right on. Cool. Sweet. So Chill, we'll get man. some ketamine, some Xanax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some lidocaine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'll ask around. And uh, what else? Fentanyl, why not? 2CB. <laughs> crack. Shrooms. Crack, I'll smoke crack. Would that would LSD, help. acid? Do, you want to drop I acid? I do truly that think that smoking crack would help with the pain. That's why... Yeah, uh, that's the guy I had sex with. He that's how Obama, <laughs> yeah, Obama got hooked <laughs> during his first tattoo session. But yeah, I, and a really long rough. way to say that I'm going to be getting the tattoo on uh, the show. Nice. Yeah. So it's next Wednesday? No, it's... Wait, is it? No, uh, no. It's oh, I'm further it away. Up. Oh, okay, okay. It's on the 27th, so it's in... Okay. Like oh, three, it. three weeks. Three oh, weeks. Okay. Yeah. yeah, it's a ways up. There it is. 
There it is. I'm gonna get a tattoo. I never thought I would get a tattoo. I never did. I never thought you would. This is the only thing I would get it for. Is to... commemorate or memorialize. Mm-hmm. And it is really is truly for me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to... I know some people like, they're part of a culture. No, I'm not judging. Just saying, people, they're, they're tattoo people. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be a tattoo person. Don't, mm-hmm. don't, I don't want to be in anyone's club. <laughs> okay? The less clubs I'm in, the better. And besides, I wouldn't want to be a part of a club that would have me as a member. I was just <laughs> pulling up the Groucho Marx quote yeah. so that I didn't misquote it, but you, you yeah. got to it first. Yeah, I got that one. <laughs> so anyway, moving on. Thank you so much. We got to do our ads. So, should this be numb by now, Sam, or it's not dry yet? Does I don't think matter? it's been 10 minutes yet. Yeah, it, it takes a minute. Okay. What, how do, it, do it'll we have start a... feeling kind of like tingly and warmish. Okay. When it's starting to work. Maybe Eli could just slap your arm or something. I think we need something pokey. I think it's been 10 minutes, actually. It has been 10 minutes. Yeah. All right, let's do the ad and then we'll, we'll poke my we'll arm. stab you. Yeah, yeah, it'll stab me. <laughs> cool. Love that. Thank you so much to our wonderful sponsors today, guys. Please consider supporting them. Today, I want to thank big, big thanks to the one, the only, love them so much, X Hexclad. Mm-hmm. Hexclad has revolutionary, magical pans. It, it is magic. It is kind of the new generation of cooking, and it's so sick. I mean, I've been using these now probably for a year plus. They look mm-hmm. brand new. And I'll tell you this, I have never owned a pan with this much, like, durability. I mean, we've bought expensive pans before. They always get all messed up, mm-hmm. man. But they, they got some kind of interesting technology here with the hexes. The power the hexagon? of hexagons. Baby. Yeah. Yeah, the hexaclad power. And so, here it is. It's expensive, but you know, it's actually not. I mean, I was going to say, pans are really expensive in general. So this is about, I'd say, mid-range in terms of price. For example, a six set is four hundred dollars, which is it's a good chunk of change, really but it's fa- going to last you. It's a fairly price for a really good pan. Yeah, and if your pans are getting ruined in a year and you're rebuying them every year, you know what I mean? It's well, we I remember our first nice pair we bought from Costco. We bought mm-hmm. like a stainless steel. It was like. It was about like 600. A, yeah. And I mean, they don't really the work. handles are falling off. Yeah. They're getting all fucked up. But check this out. Lifetime warranty. Okay. Metal utensil safe. Hmm. Dude, I've tested that. <laughs> like, I, I, some, can I be honest? I've been scared to still. Right. And I, that's <laughs> cool. I'm so trained that. not to do that. <laughs> I'm so trained some, on it. Yeah. Well, sometimes I'll not have a wooden spoon or something. Yeah, and yeah. I'll just use the fork. You just go for it, and it's all good? It's all good, bro. It's awesome. It's all good. Non-stick, non-toxic, oven safe, dishwasher safe, induction ready, and the handle stays cool. Stay cool handle. Stay cool. Stay cool. <laughs> um, it's the perfect gift. It's the perfect thing to treat yourself for some good home goods. I'm just so in love with this product. And uh, damn, which pan is it that you're cooking with? I guess it's just, I have the normal, fry, like, medium-sized frying pan. The I one use. in the middle here? Yeah, yeah. And uh, and I have some of the pots, too. Mm. These are the ones I use all the time, is th- these ones here. Sam has the wok. Oh, how's the oh, wok, the Sam? Wok. Your parents oh, I really that. like it. I have the knives as well, and I love the knives. The knives are so good, aren't the they? The knives are the best knives mm-hmm. ever. And I love the magnet board they come on. Did you have this, this one with the magnet so board? Cool. I don't have the magnet board. It's so I, good. I want that right there. <laughs> so I want this, to be able to throw the knives and just have <laughs> Dude, the magnet is so strong. It's it's, it's so satisfying. Damn. It's a double sided, so both sides stick on the That's on the awesome. wood board. And this is what we have in our kitchen right now. And it's yeah. fantastic. It really is. Um, but yeah, I would recommend the pans big time. The knives are great too, but I'm just it's such a great company. I mean it's such a great product. They've got a lifetime warranty. I mean, who offers that, you know? Mm. It's fantastic. Forget about it. 
So, um, listen. Let me tell you something. Let me pull this up. They got like, we watched the, the Gordon Ramsay video again. Let's see what they got here for me today. I fell in love with Hex Lads a few years. Tell me, Gordon. A chef friend of mine sent. Tell me, Gordon. Tell me everything I need to know about X. Yeah, <laughs> Twelve-inch non-stick pan as a gift. It was a joy to work with something that I took to immediately. As a front runner in the industry, they're raising the bar. My level of perfection connects with that bar, and more importantly, as a collaboration together, I think we will become one of the most exciting brands on the planet. I'll say this. Gordon Ramsay, he definitely chased that dollar. That man works harder than anyone. That being said, he would not endorse a cooking product he didn't believe in. There's no shot, man. Yeah, I don't He think takes cooking way too seriously. And he's, even Gordon's out here saying, it's all about hex clad, my dudes. Cheers, my dudes. You know? Cheers, my dude. Um, yeah. Listen, find your forever cookware at hex clad. Get 10% off. With the promo code after dark at hexclad.com slash after dark. Right there, I'll say it again. Hexclad.com slash after dark. Links in the description. Uh, really love this product and thank you to them. And I hope you guys will consider supporting them. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, let's go. Next up, thank you again to another fantastic sponsor, Shopify, who I cannot sing their praises enough. Shopify is the place you need to be mm -hmm. if you're thinking of opening any kind of e-commerce, no matter the scale, small, if you've got plans to grow, medium, even large. It's all happening on Shopify. There isn't a single e-commerce platform uh, that does what they do as good as how they do it. Mm -hmm. We are actually in the process of updating our own team on Shopify. And guess what? The customers will have no idea because they make it so easy that we can work on it offline. And then when it's ready, you just publish it and it's seamless. Yeah. Nobody even knows anything happened. One thing that always surprised me that I, I, I say it every time, never been offline. Yeah. The website has never gone down. And that is a challenge yeah. to anyone out there. Mm -hmm. It has never gone down. It's pretty wild. It's hosted by Shopify. And so, like, their hosting potential is nuts. Yeah. And I mean, we've had some big ass days. Like, when we do some of these Black Fridays, there's a lot of traffic mm -hmm. headed there. And the website runs. Like, what the hell? Yeah. Like, the one, I think, two years ago, we were like the top five. Oh yeah, one um, of the shops that the Black Friday top five. The color block hoodie was like one of the top <laughs> selling items for the year. That's crazy for Black Friday. Yeah, um, I'm happy to say and fortunate that we picked Shopify from was our very first toy. Yeah, we started. Somebody recommended to us. <clears throat> yeah, I, I I remember looking around and I remember Shopify just kept coming up. People were recommending it, and it just sounded so easy. And I'm so glad I did because yeah. Yeah, I love it. Basically, the ability to scale our business from what was mm -hmm. essentially me, Ela, and one person yeah. up to what, what it is today was absolutely seamless and easy, easy. They've got at an add-on plug-in shop. So you can buy these add-ons and plug-ins for your shop to level up the game. Mm -hmm. And then these add-ons are run, they're developed and run by third parties. So what's interesting is like, you can get really high-end services via their add-on shop yeah. and it's so convenient for example like one of them just to give you guys an example well the fraud protection one was like a game yeah. changer for us that was so easy to add on but even like for little things like address correcting like something that will pop up at the end and make sure your address is correct because oh yeah we used to run into problems of people putting in the wrong address and then reaching out can i correct it and it's like the order already went out you learn all these little things as you run the business. You don't know what to expect. And then as we go, people will tell me, oh, you know, you can install an app for that or you can add a plugin for that. And, and like slowly you learn so much about it. And the reason I say it's good that it's run by a third person is because 
they're they're they have their own service customer support there mm -hmm. and they're there to make sure that it's done perfectly on their end so all these services are coming together in this portal and it really turns out to be it's got to be the best service in the game i mean it's just so good then they've got like the shopping app they've got we have we're doing all this cool stuff with them they've got now they even have their own like um they implemented a thing now where they you can pay in installments. Shopify mm. implemented that. Mm. It's awesome, man. I gotta say, if you guys are in the market for, to make any kind of e-commerce, big or small, you gotta go with Shopify. That's just a no-brainer. Um, we also have a deal here. Check out this deal. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. a struggle. Uh, da, da, da. Shopify power. Did you know Shopify powers ten percent of all e-commerce? That's insane, actually. Rothbys, Brook Linen, Allbirds. Hmm. Mm. How about that? Sign up for one dollar per month. That's a trial period of one dollar per month. For sh at sh go to Shopify.com/slash/afterdark. All lower cases. Go to Shopify.com slash After Dark to take your business to the next level. One dollar per month trial. That's awesome. Um, it really, you know, and you should try it. At a dollar a month, I mean, what do you got to lose? It's, it's, it's going to do a huge, huge benefits for you guys. Uh, so there it is. Love you, Shopify. Thank yeah. you so much for sponsoring us. And I hope you, you guys will consider uh, signing up with them, eh? <laughs> wow, you got those talkies fast, man. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, how did that get here so fast? Holy wow. shit. Thank you. I love Takis. All right, really? So how have I all... never heard of it? I know. You haven't? That's so surprising. It's a Zoomer product, I think. Oh, really? They're so good. They've been around for a while. Because I never heard of them either, and then all of a sudden everyone's eating Takis. Blue, Nitro. So I got a, I saw a good suggestion in the Where chat go? for your arm, Ethan. Yeah. Crunchy test fajita. it this way. Huh? Can I shoot? Can I shoot you in the arm? Sure. Oh. There you go. <laughs> I, got, I got something too. I'll grab it. Hold on. Let's <laughs> let's ease in. Let's ease in. <laughs> you got to do both arms to compare the pain too. Oh, that's such a good point. This right is the numbed one. Right here. Right here. Oh my God! The, your eyes, the flavor is too strong. Yeah, that's Why is one it of so strong? Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna cover my eyes too. Right. Yeah. All right, here we go. Right here, right. Right here. Okay, got yeah. it. I felt that. <laughs> but now... Now on the left. <laughs> now we have to compare. I think you missed the spot, though. Oh, really? I think you mm -hmm. shot it you like it here. Again? You gotta shoot it like here. Okay. okay. Point, point. Here we go. Get down. I felt it. <laughs> I mean, I definitely felt it. There's no question. Listen, it's I'm red, too. I'm telling you. Thanks. Look at this. I'm oh, telling you. It's bruised my beautiful it's skin. It's not gonna do anything. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, if that salt gun hurt me, <laughs> I got no shot. Don't I need, I need the Wait, doctor. So you already tried it? I tried that Crunchy one. Crunchy fajitas? I've tried every Takis product that exists. My sure problem one. with the Taki. Hmm. Oh shit! He says I can do it. Do he <laughs> he's laughing at me. He really? goes. We have a nurse that can do it for two thousand dollars. Oh my god! Jesus. <laughs> he laughed at me. He said, "Lol," but he says, "But the ar upper arm is not painful." <laughs> so he's gonna judge me. Two thousand dollars. Wait, is that to put you under? No. No, that's for the shots. That's just for the shot. What he said. Wow. Maybe it's expensive. I mean, clearly. It's, yeah, it's probably because only like big celebrities probably do it. But I think in this, in the interest of doing a show. For the whole day, I think I should do that, right? <laughs> for show purposes, sure. I don't think I'll be able it's to do for a the show. show. Yeah. It's for the show. I think you can. I've seen you super sick and do the show. Yeah. That's different. I think you should go with the pain. It's fun. You think what? I think no shot. No shot. Yeah, I think no shot. Oz, uh, can you have her on standby? <laughs> The blue is kind of weird flavor. This is has too much spice, don't you think? The mm -hmm. fajita flavor is fire. I've never had Takis before, though. This is my first Taki. The Nitro sucks. I don't like that one at all. Wait, the blue heat is kind of good, actually. I only really? have the regular. It's a nice aftertaste. 
I haven't tried any others. So the blue heat, I think, is just supposed to be more flavor. Certainly not something All I would want to eat a mountain of, though. Oh, <laughs> no. Like, when I think of mukbanging, I don't think of food like this. So, just... the blue ones makes your poop blue. Hmm? The blue one makes your poop blue. No really? shot. Yeah, it's oh crazy. That's disturbing. Okay, this one is called Fuego. I pooped my pants. Is the blue one even safe for consumption? Yeah, what the fuck? I swear it's not. <laughs> Try this Fuego. I one. just did. That's the good Nothing one. Is on fire, the I Fuego? Oh, it is not. Yeah, it's on like fire. It. Oh, I like that one the best. Why is there so much flavor in it? <laughs> Isn't this just the original flavor? The original Taki? There's the Fuego, the Fuego one? the Fajita, the... The Fuego's the original? Yeah. Holy shit. Chocolate mocha. Fuego's well, it's crazy. gotten better. But I think I tried them all. I mean, it's okay, I guess. Not gonna hate on it. Oh, I'm gonna try nitro. I can fucking nitro, bro. Hit the nitro switch. <laughs> it's not really spice. It's the... Um, Overwhelming <laughs> spices. Yeah. So let's do a poll if people think I should do the shot or not. I know y'all are gonna say no, but if that's how you're handling the takis, I, I think feel like out of it. these, it's not favorite... hot. It's just the spice, bro. My favorite is the crunchy fajita. You haven't tried it? Mm. Ugh, stuck in my throat. <laughs> I'm out on takis. Let's do a poll. Someone doing that? Yeah. One sec. So, don't you guys think it might be a good idea to just have them on standby? You know what I mean? Other than doing like an hour long show where I'm like, I can't do this, you guys. Oh, I'm crying. I'm a grown man crying. Uh, I can't do it. Is it close to the hot chip? Not at all. That's a weird question. Give me a break. Oh, that's cool that they have the option, though. I appreciate that, even though it's, like, insanely expensive. Yeah. Should he? I voted yes. No? Okay, but then, like, okay, people that voted no, consider that fact that it might just be an hour-long show. Where I'm like, ow, 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 Because the thing is, if I have the nurse here... Why, 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 why? I'll start without the shot, and then you guys can see... But don't you pay just to have it here? You'll pay it away. Well, she- I'm gonna use it. <coughs> but I can do like 30 minutes without. Mm. Just so that they can watch me suffer. Mm. <coughs> yeah. Yeah, I think they just want to watch the suffering. That's why they say no. You can watch me suffer for 30 minutes. <laughs> 2K would change my life. <laughs> Someone said, well... Uh, send us your... Email one of the mods. I'll send you 2,000. Thousand Dongarn. I'm, I'm Mr. Beast up in this bitch. Who said that? Where's that comment? I haven't seen that comment. Let me see. 2K would change my life. It's uh, Kwiku. You guys see this? Mm. If you are... Message one of the mods on Discord. I'll send you 2,000. Right? What do you mean? Yeah, fuck it. I'm Mr. Beast on this shit. <laughs> I'd feel, you know what I mean? Like, if I'm gonna waste 2000 or if I'm gonna spend $2,000 on some dumb shit, then, you Do know what I mean? Live! We should help out our, our fellow people as well. This is a show expense, to be fair. What? All for you guys. Also, we sent, we paid off, uh, did those people we paid for the le their medical bills ever? Say anything? What? Or did yeah, they, they yeah, got they were it? very appreciative. Okay, yeah. that's good. Sorry, guys. I'm just Mr. Beasting this shit. <laughs> I read it. What happened is I read it, and then I felt bad. And I said, you're right. So let me just send you the money. 50? Now everyone's saying 100,000 would change my life. 2,000, yeah. 2,000 would change my life. <laughs> Set, but yeah, if you're if you're watching, reach out to one of the mods. You guys get his name because I yeah, I got his it. channel. And okay, good, yeah. good, good. Thank you, love. There it is. Um, 
But only if you've record. Okay, here's the deal. If I send you two thousand, you need to record yourself crying at home, <laughs> thanking me. You, I want to. You need to tell me exactly how you're going to spend the money, <laughs> and it needs to pending my approval. Okay, mm -hmm. you can only spend it how I authorize its use. Thank you. All right, God, where have we? We haven't done any fucking thing. Nothing. Right. Who cares? We're having fun. That's true. We do have stuff we need to get to, but... Speaking of Jordan, he posted a mug shot. I don't even get why he did this. It's not even funny. It's just weird. He posted a really what? horrible Photoshop of him on Trump. Oh, okay. Mug shot. Yeah, why? He said the Ontario College of... Uh, psycho psycholo psychologists ordered me in for my mug shot today. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't even look good at all. <laughs> I don't yeah. know what's supposed to be awesome. funny. And it has 33,000 likes. Like, there's these people out there. I just, just question, man. Who's liking this shit? And then he posted a black and white version for no reason. It's not better. It's not <laughs> even different. Why did you post that one too? He's unwell. Oh he, he is not well, this man. <laughs> oh. Why did he do this? Did he think this was so substantially more interesting that he had to post it? Well, so you have options, you know? <laughs> he likes the LARP as a victim. Thought provoke him. Mm, true. Old timey Peterson. <laughs> um, Cav Cav, speaking of, is he feeling okay? Cav Cav keeps oh, yes, psycho please. posting. So did you see his recent one about the world government conspiracy? I was watching the show. <laughs> okay, so he did another one. Watch this. I agree with you when you were like, what do you do if somebody in your life starts posting this? Like, damn, we how lost about, we lost another one. How about somebody who you gave a bunch of money to yeah. starts posting this? Yeah, that would be worrying. People actually invest with him. How? I, you know who I want to talk to? One of Cav Cav's investors. I want to talk to them. Right. Who's giving this guy money except his dad? <laughs> oh no. Okay, so here's Cav Cav. He's posting Bill Gates. Food conspiracies. Potatoes for McDonald's fries are reportedly grown on Bill Gates' farmland in fields so vast that you can see them from space. Yeah. That's probably true, right? It is true. I looked it up. Yeah. But that's the, then. Okay. But there is so much more to that. His conclusion is where it goes off the rails, right? Yeah. So he says. Bangry. So hashtag Bill Gates. Oh, that's good. He hashtag it. Let's bring all the Bill <laughs> Gates people together. <laughs> So Bill Gates is literally responsible for McDonald's, hashtag McDonald's, my dude, he is a genius on social media. Yeah, let's Thank get you, that traffic. <laughs> Cracks me up when people do that. Uh, for hashtag McDonald's, okay, Bill Gates is literally responsible for McDonald's french fries. Yes, they are the best tasting thing ever, which have shown to be one of the worst things you can ever put in your body. Oh yeah, and he is the primary supporter, researcher, and science and beneficiary behind the vaccine. Too much wine, sorry. How do we go from potato to the vaccine? <laughs> well, he's blaming McDonald's for what they do with his potatoes. First yeah. of all, weird. But second of all... So, I I just googled, like, Bill Gates potatoes just to see, and it's like, so that him and his wife, they invested in a bunch of farms. Which they is have, like, weird and creepy. It, it's a little creepy. Yeah. But it's just an investment, and they had, they don't not only grow potatoes, yeah, Gooch family a bunch of other things. Well, he he makes that it, everybody uses for everything. He makes it sound like Bill Gates is behind the big French fry to kill people. <laughs> yeah, or I love how he admits they are bomb. <laughs> yeah, they are super bomb. <laughs> but then he goes, "Oh yeah, he's the su primary supporter, researcher, and science and beneficiary behind the vaccine." What? Boom. How do you go to the vaccine? Nothing to see here, he says. Boom. Hashtag. It's all connected. Guys. Yeah, We're bro. Don't you, Don't you? Are you know. beginning to understand? Mm -hmm. But this I'm thinking his protect. brain is made of potatoes grown on Bill Gates. <laughs> You'd have a higher IQ if you had Bill Gates potatoes. <laughs> so what is it like? There's farmland that's so vast that can be seen from space. I mean, yeah. it's just like all of Google Maps. I mean, that's over yeah. anywhere in the country where there's farmland. Right. Like, yeah. Wait, I mean, there's mean? a lot of farmland in America before Bill Gates bought it. You can see it. a lot of things from space with a, with a satellite. Right. <laughs> this person said, 
Uh, I'm not a supporter of the vaccine either, but what does McDonald's potatoes have to do with the vaccine? <laughs> exactly. And this is one of his allies, apparently. <laughs> Ryan responded, to be clear, I got vaccinated. I was a supporter. Bill Gates is the primary business driving force behind mRNA vaccines and really pushed them through for COVID because he, quote, cares so much about our health. Yet he also uh, is one who delivers McDonald's French fries to the world. Clear? Clear? <laughs> no. Dude, you are. His brand is so powerful. Wait. Crystal. Uh, Wait. How? Clear? Please, if you know someone investing in Ryan Kavanaugh, send them this. <laughs> this man is is not well. This this is the uh, this is the article. Yeah, that he's that's referring the one to. that I read. Cool. It's just like whoa. Yeah, you can see that from space. Dude, what? Well, that, conspiracy. Well, that's a satellite. Farms. But you that's, can see that's my house they, from space. Right, conspiracy. but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's this is. This is where this originates from. Is well, from then this report. you can see everything from space. I can Correct. see people sunbathing in their backyard from space. Indeed. I think Billy uh, needs to get back on that poop water. I did that, like the poop water that's, initiative. That's the future. <laughs> there. What happened to the poop water initiative? I think they're I think they're cleaning that shit, dude. I think they're cleaning <laughs> that shit water still. Because I always thought that was a cool idea. You know, revolutionary. But it's like if you want to criticize Bill Gates about the farms, I'm sure there's another way to do it that would make sense. Yeah. But why the potatoes at McDonald's? I don't get it. Dude, it's... it's <laughs> and connecting it to the vaccines. Yeah, and then no, the it, vaccine. <laughs> it's borderline, like, um, psychosis thinking. Yeah. yeah. Like, it, it's so departed <laughs> from like, reality yeah. that it truly makes me wonder if this man is okay. I don't think he is. There's a video. I, I don't think we could show it. He posted on his Instagram of his helicopter hitting a bird. Huh? And he, well, the bird is dead, and he's picking the bird out of the helicopter. What? And it's like, it, its head looks like it's barely attached. Send he, it to me. He, no, I'll watch this. What? what? He, what? Was on, what? That was on Instagram? Yeah, yeah. He throws it at the cameraman. Wait, what? Recording. Really what? <laughs> so he's what? desecrating dead corpses? That's like... Okay, blah, 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 blah. What? Oh, oh, yeah, I'll screen it first. Okay, no, I'm not going to show it. Yeah. All right, so here he is. This was posted uh, five days ago. Here, Yili, you can watch here. <laughs> so ever wonder what happens when a bird just misses your rotor blade? This man can still afford to cruise in helicopters. Yeah, I don't get it. Dude, if you ever believed in meritocracy as a concept, <laughs> which I don't think a lot of our fans do at this point, but if you did... Ryan Kavanaugh single-handedly dispels, dispels yeah. this idea. If there was a meritocracy, Ryan Kavanaugh would be... He'd be cleaning dead birds off of windshields. Mm. <laughs> I don't even want to, I don't want to den denigrate anyone's job. Sure. But what, but I he would be like, um... Our animal control friends. Picking up respect. trash on the freeway. Our garbage men, well, like a, like a prisoner? He's like, well, no, it's just a minimum wage because they're, you know, he could work for Caltrans. So that seems like a good spot. Caltrans. I, I, yeah, Caltrans. I disagree. I think Ryan's doing a, a public service <laughs> by killing birds. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see. That's I, an interesting. I'm a, I, 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 a stand, I stand Ryan on this. One. Yeah, all right. Kill burner. all birds. <laughs> no, 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 no. Ryan Kavanaugh posted just flying along coastline, minding our own business. And a seagull decided to kamikaze us and had to do an emergency landing. All right, so let's watch. Cleaning out the bird guts from the intake. <laughs> right, the unnatural thing in the sky oh, was the bird. So, bear, you gotta hold, you gotta, oh. bear hands. He's picking Very up the bird corpse. <laughs> and he threw it at the cameraman, which is actually really so crazy. Cleaning out the bird guts from the intake. Yeah, I wouldn't show this. I mean, Ew. you really don't throw dead bodies at people. Thought that was we learned that in first grade, bro. Oh, you sick fuck! You gotta hold. You gotta. Oh, very Ethan. Did you say Ethan? <laughs> God, everyone hates him. Probably his cameraman hates him. Everybody hates you, Ryan. It's a dick move to throw a fucking bird, though. The top comment is Brian Cavanaugh is a force of nature. Harvey Weinstein. Oh my God. <laughs> And that is. Ryan Kavanaugh is a force of nature on. <laughs> oh, here he is with Grimace? What are they doing? This is where he's getting insider info. <laughs> he's shooting a movie together. Oh, is he going to be in Bryce's new movie? Yeah. 
Okay. Interesting. <laughs> well, you know, the Grimace created a shake, and apparently it was doing harm to people. That's a conspiracy theory right there. Bro, yeah. I had I had fucking Skittles yesterday. Who's, Sour? Ma who's making the sugar cane on that? <laughs> Grimace. Crime against humanity. Grimace facts. Mm. Grimace. Side note, he has another video from August 15th of a of a bird fucking a man's head. Send me that. What? Send me all that. I'll uh -huh. I'll privately screen it. So he's You're, always been what? not okay. Dude. Yeah, I think ever since relativity went bankrupt, he probably was less okay. Uh, he said, is this is from three weeks ago. He said, um, has to be the funniest and craziest thing I've seen all week. A bird shagging a man. Not joking. A bird having <laughs> sex with a photographer on live TV. Okay, let's see if it's that funny. And by the way, YouTube people, this is a BBC Nature clip, so give me a fucking break, please. Also, this is not Maybe live television. I know Ryan doesn't know a lot about media or the entertainment industry, but this, right. is, this is not live. <laughs> live TV. from the, uh... This is a nature documentary. Live from the, the heart of the Amazon forest. What the fuck? You dumbass. You want me to mute the audio? Hello. No. A typical male, Sirocco is clearly only interested in one thing. It's not that interesting. It's, it's Look at the like, comments. Wow, what a nice capture. Super real. <laughs> <laughs> 50 gifted subbies from a membership will change your life. Thank you. That's probably our benefactor, eh? Oh, it's way more than 50. Oh, wait, how many? They say they give way more than that. 100. 150. Thank you, thank oh, wow. you, thank you, thank you. It's changing our lives With right peace now. peace and love. <coughs> 200. Please. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. He's still going. Thank you, man. A membership will change your life. Right. Thank you. So generous, and it's so nice. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Can we advertise being a member that you might win two thousand dollars now? Since <laughs> one member did. That is a potential perk. I've not heard yeah. from that member yet. I want to. That is uh, a potential perk. I'll say that. Say, if you're still watching. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. So yeah, Kavka's not doing well. Send him your thoughts and prayers. Just your thoughts and prayers. Not not anything physical. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. The untangible things in life. Thoughts and prayers Thank you. we send to Ryan Kavka. Right. Thank and you. And positive energy. We're all rooting for him. Thank <laughs> you. The words of Joe Biden. I think we're up to 300, dude. 300? Still going. Damn, thanks, yeah, bro. 50 every year. 300? Yeah, it's 300. That's so nice. Wow. Thanks to me. Dude, it more. seems like the, uh, the Royal Saudi Investment Firm just made an investment in the HD podcast. <laughs> we shouldn't talk about that on the air, though. Oh, yeah. Sh mom's the word. A wink. Mom dude, he's still- what the hell? How can you even do that? How does your credit card even let you do that? Hmm. <laughs> How do you not get fraud stuff? Uh, How many is black, that now? baby. I think he said once that he had to stop because his credit card stopped working. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, thank you. That was amazing. So how much was that? It's at uh, least 500, I think. I think it's 500. Yep. Jeez. Thank you, what? Thank you, thank you. This is a serious thank message you. to all new members. Yo, welcome to all the new members that are getting hooked up right now. All new members, yeah. please. With peace and love, I will see you on Tuesday. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> That's awesome. I have to go wash my hands after these. The talkie explosion. I gotta tell you, I wasn't, I wasn't that hot on these. Yeah. Not the best. It's a Zoomer thing. It's a Zoomer thing? I genuinely believe it's I a like Zoomer thing. I mean, I like, I like, like, the flavoring, the powder, but the, the actual stick in there is not very good. So you should try the blue chips. ones. I'm eating All the blue ones. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm eating well, the blue ones. Like, I don't ma mind the, how spicy it is. Okay, let like me ask this. Part. Everyone who loves Takis, raise your hand. The two Zoomers, hands up. That's it. Interesting. I'm telling you, bro. Well, uh, Ian, oh. and, Ian and Sam are Zoomers, right? Oh, Cam has it up too? Okay, okay. all right. Young, young at heart, young at heart. Right. Sam and- me a man Wait, Sam I, and Ian I, I, are I, Zoomers? Are you, like, making um, fun of me, Dan, or what? Is this, like, you think I'm a Zoomer? I'm, He's not a Zoomer. I was born in 97, I'm 25. Yeah. I don't Sam definitely is. Sam is I'm pure. not a Zoomer. No, she's not a Zoomer. Zoomer right. are, like, people in high school right now, aren't they? No. No, Zoom. oh, yeah. Olivia's a Zoomer. Zoomers Love are Zoomer. like in but their 20s. Sam's only yeah. one year older. Yeah, they're Sam's the not a Zoomer. Age. I'm sorry. They're this, almost the what? same age. How old are you, Zoomer? Olivia? I'm 24. And how old are you, Sam? 25. 25. I'm about to be 26. Though. I don't think Olivia or Sam is Hold Zoomer. on, hold on. What the, the person fuck are born we in the about? late 1990s or early 1990s? Exactly. Or early 2000s. What's your birth year, love? 
2000. Oh, you're a hella Zoomer. Yeah. Zoom, zoom, baby. Wait, 99. What's your birth year? I think... 99. And Sam's 98. Uh, you're a Zoomer. No, and I'm Sam, what's your birth year? Oh, 97. 97. Close. She's an elder zoomer. Yeah, you're you're on the you're on the cusp. You're on the cusp. What what's the actual definition? He just said just somebody well, born in the late 1990s to oh, okay, what mid 2000s. Yeah, millennials is 81 to 96. So, right. Yeah. Okay. Yo, the fact that you're born in 2000, God, I, I hate to even start doing this because it's so <laughs> cheesy, but man. I was like fully alive when you were born. I was yeah. like a full ass person. Yeah. <laughs> I was 15 when you I were born. I don't remember 9 11, dud. You were 15 and That's well, crazy. Right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, crazy, I, mean I was like 13. Yeah. I was like almost done with high school almost. Yeah. yeah well, middle of high school. Yeah. I wasn't even conscious back then. <laughs> for a That's while. That's crazy, bro. For like 2010. I was playing EverQuest before you were even born. Dude, you probably Damn. had a job before I was conscious. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. Probably, bro. I didn't gain consciousness until like 2010. Right. Yeah. That's the other thing is when you think about like, where do you even remember? Yeah. From? Yeah. Well, you don't remember anything from before you were 10 years old? Nah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing. I don't remember anything from like under, I would say, five. Anything before five is a black. I have maybe five. very scattered well, memories of under five, but yeah. It's more like I, it's in there, but I don't like, is that me? I don't. I wasn't conscious back then. Not sure. I know what you mean. I, I feel the same. Acting way. on uh, impulses and stuff like that. You know. <laughs> I have memories though. Okay. Yeah. So anyway, I think I have to do the shot because I I made I made the uh, tribute to our fan. So now I can be feel comfort and spending two thousand on the shot. For the sake of the show, people. For the sake of the show. Yeah, I can't deny that it would probably go better if you were numbed up, because... I'll try it you're, first You're just without. gonna be squealing in pain, probably. I, I want to do, like, a normal show, you know? Yeah, I mean? if that if you really want to do that, you should probably get the shot. <laughs> He's gonna think I'm the biggest <laughs> pussy ever. Mm -hmm. Sorry to denigrate the, you know what I mean? I don't like that word, because... Turns out, uh, people with pussies are probably the toughest of them all. Mm -hmm. Or maybe, I put it another way, you're a bunch of pussies. Pussy-bearing, uh, pussy oh, yeah. beings with, who bear pussies. Vagina. Oh, yeah. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. okay, I'm gonna do it, fuck it. At least I've seen what a vagina looks like. <laughs> I mean, she has to sit with us the whole time, I guess it... I am curious about how, uh, whatever, let's... You wanna show, um... Just saying. Yeah? A little Scotty. Sure. Yeah, we got oh. a Scotty update. <laughs> Here, send it to me. Oh! Hold up. I did. <laughs> what? Isn't this crazy? Oh. Usually these are just... Yeah. This looks like a tiny little... Little baby. Right? It's hold like hold a teddy up. Bear. Yeah, uh, give me one sec. Just downloading it. So, how far along are you now? I mean, I know you're doing April. I am... Um, Beginning of April? I don't remember, but I have a nap. I'm almost 10 weeks. Why am I napping? Still real early. It's the size of an olive right now. Hmm. Still Which super crazy. early. You're starting to show a little bit, I think. Mm -hmm. I there. Thank you. Yeah. Look at that. It looks like a baby. <laughs> Apparently, the doctor said you can already like tell it's a boy. Yeah, oh, right there. Pee -pee? Which is kind of wild. <laughs> like, right yeah, we would have known the gender already. That <laughs> it usually takes longer. They probably wouldn't tell you though, for sure. They wouldn't say anything. Just based yeah. on this, yeah. But because we are no. Right. So is that its limbs, or is it just like a yeah. visual? Yeah. Oh, really? Kinda it's what the, you think it is. The head. The head. Yeah. Body and two arms and two legs. Three arms. Wow. He's my son. <laughs> Hong. <laughs> 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 so there it is, little Scotty. Awesome. Love him already. <laughs> pretty so cool. cute already. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> okay, here's a weird one. Jimmy Lee is is collaborating with Andrew Holy. Callahan <laughs> of Channel Five. I yeah. I didn't know anything about this. Nobody mentioned this to me, and I still don't understand what the fuck is going on. <laughs> It's very, the situation is very confusing. I don't understand the context. Yeah. I don't understand how they met. 
I don't understand why why Andrew was doing a piece with with Jimmy. I don't understand. And like as we'll see, it's like and it's like footage of Andrew interviewing Jimmy, but it's Jimmy's documentary. Because you know Not Jimmy films everything. Killing. He just Andrew went there to film something for himself. Jimmy brought his crew and put the <laughs> footage out first. Well, according to Jimmy, Andrew reached out to him. <laughs> that I believe. That's what I would think. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. I mean, it, it's it's. <laughs> Wait, we're, you just we're taking Jimmy's word for that? Uh, oh, I I don't know what to believe with him. It makes him. sense though. A- he Andrew wouldn't just meet with Jimmy unless he wanted to. No, yeah. hold on. They must have met on the street or something. That's see, that's what that's I more thought. What huh? I think, no, they just, he just ran. They're into at that convention or something. No or some way. Shit. I think the documentarian has a little insider info. That's my guess. He knew yeah, that Andrew was going to be here. It's way too much of a coincidence. Yeah. It's also apparently it's called. I don't know if this. I don't know if this is Jimmy's title. Or he, or it's Andrew's title, just almost famous, just about famous. That doesn't seem like a very for, good title. From my understanding, I don't think this is going to be associated with Channel Five. I think this is it just happened to be in the the time yeah. and the place. But he's like in the thumbnail. So wait, video. Andrew's not going to use this footage? I I couldn't. Jimmy wouldn't give me a straight answer with it. Can we try to call him? We're sure. good. Jimmy's coming next week. He's coming. Wednesday. I gotta know. He's coming next week. I'll next just week. ask him real fast. What's Isn't he doing here next week? It's never real fast. Sammy Quinn then. said, "I'm 33 weeks spooky, baby. Planning on treating myself to some Teddy Fresh as postpartum love. We can. Se- oh yeah, let's send her stuff. Yeah, I'd love to send you stuff. Sammy Quinn, reach out to the mods. Good luck. That's like Come right, on right down. at the end. I'm about to Mr. Beast, Mrs. Beast your ass. Mm-hmm. Damn. Mm hmm. <laughs> I see a couple chatters said that they are cl- getting close to their due dates. Congratulations. Let's get those Fooper Troopers out. Let's get those young babies, those young H3 fans. <laughs> um, what is this? Thing? There was also a question oh, if this I is, use don't open this. Epidural with Theodore or Bruce. I did with Theodore, and then with Bruce, I had no time. It was all happening too fast. And, um, honestly, it was my biggest fear, but thinking back on it, it, it just happened so fast. It's like a blur now. I barely even remember what happened. So, I don't know. If I have time, though, I, I will. Based on the last one, I don't think you will. (laughs) That was nuts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I'm going to need a, I'm not going to be able to feel this. I can't (laughs) deal with the pain, so. Look how red you got from that. This is from the gun. Yeah. Yeah, Dan, what the fuck, man? That's <laughs> my talk. beautiful skin. How else would we know? <laughs> what if you'd gone in to get the tattoo with that cream, expecting, yep, you know? You're right. Now was, you know you need the shot. It was important. It was important. All in the service of science. Uh, but how, do, so is there a way to numb my shoulder before the shot? How do we numb it for the shot itself? <laughs> well, what is this, Cam? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> There's talk of next gen. Oh my babies. god, it looks so much It's a like high, you. higher resolution <laughs> image. We cleaned it up in Photoshop a little bit, enhanced nice it, to CSI style. Thank you. That's what we got going on. All right, so let's watch this documentary trailer. <laughs> Look at that hairline, boy. Look at that looking fresh. Oh, fuck. Mm, I love it. What are those glasses? Fresh. I don't know, but he's slaying right now. <laughs> Jimmy Lee. He's a funny guy. He sure is. <laughs> got that old-timey piano. Wait, Jimmy I think he's got a different glass. Wait, this he is, was a, a this, bit olive tree yeah. restaurant. I was going to say, is that a reference? That's the olive tree website we go to. No, it's no, not. Olive, no, olive tree's a Bible, Bible store. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think that's just a coincidence. Fuck. It's funny. He's uh, everywhere. All the trees everywhere. This didn't uh. get claimed, right, Zach? Uh, no claim. Yeah, the other thing about Jimmy is he's a really a fantastic piano player. It's a right. Playing that old timey tunes, love that. <laughs> Jimmy That's Lee so has perfect. Special, playing the entertainer is so funny. Our Hall of Fame. <laughs> I'm all fucked up, Dennis. You got my eye on you, hun. There's oh, need for God, me to really be that one. And loved by everybody. I, I feel I have a gift. Dude, oh, look at his what? head. <laughs> okay, is he leaning into that now? I think so. Because he's not even doing that for us. I mean, I, I got nothing that, to do with like this. In the, just in the office setting. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think he just embraces it is what it is. Yeah. Like, he knows it's fucking batshit, but, like, 
I mean, it's his thing, you know? Ugh. But he said last time on the show that he's going to do hair plant, right? Like He's going to get a hair system or I think implants? So. I think he said that last time he called there, in. There's no way in hell he thinks that looks good. He just can't. <laughs> I think so. I think he does look good, thinks it's good. I think he just looks at himself in the mirror a very specific way. Right. And if he looks, if he sees himself yeah. in the mirror looking good, then he's in the zone. <laughs> yeah, maybe he just right. sees yeah. it very blurred. Yeah, I was gonna say, maybe his vision's receding too. Dude, that is so wild. Go Can on you the tell side. Ethan that I love him? Oh, thank <laughs> you. We love you, girl. <laughs> I like Jimmy to be the star of the show yeah. because he is the star. He wants to be the star. He is the and star. If he's not Jimmy, you better clear this with me, bro. I mm. love how it's just you're narrating the whole documentary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not. I did not uh, endorse this documentary, Jimmy. So, on whose channel is this? Uh, wait, yeah, who is Alex? Yeah, he, he's this guy. I guess that hit up Jimmy, and um, he makes really good videos too. I screen some. Before. Wait, seriously? Yeah. yeah. So he's working with the creator on this? I yeah. guess. Yeah. What? But I thought we were talking about Andrew. I don't understand anything. Well, yeah, you'll see. Oh. Andrew is in this later in the trailer. Just okay. kind of randomly. He just popped oh, up. Oh, randomly? Yeah, yeah it's good. And look, he's in the thumbnail, too. That's why I you thought look. it was his video. Okay. It's... It may be just that he has a brief cameo with this guy, oh. Alex Novo. Oh. He's the documentarian. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And he makes really good videos. Um, oh. What on earth? Okay, okay. <laughs> what was this Alan Dershowitz That's video? You watched that I feel like he's yeah, I did. That's mm. actually the one. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What'd you learn about the Dersh? Yeah. Uh, he tricked eye. him into an interview and then. Uh, Hype, uh, hit him with a surprise question about Epstein. Yo, so, that's pretty epic. Yeah, it's, you should. Yeah, I recommend it. Mm. Oh, is this a sad Jimmy? Are we seeing a sad side? <laughs> that's what I see. That's interesting. <laughs> My worry wow. is I have There's to a real person under there. Really will know before I die because no one will remember me as a dentist. Okay, so I wonder if Alex put him up to it then, to the hairline thing, because that would worry be a good element for the documentary. I think the Jimmy just thought. Me. I'm, I'm a star of a documentary. I got to get my hair and makeup done for yeah, every shot. That, I'm showing that's up. That's just his look. But he yeah. never wrote it that low until we were like encouraging him to I, go for it. I think this is his uh, his makeup for his character, if you will. Okay. If he, if he was, I'm not referring to him as a clown. I'm saying if he was a clown, his makeup is on. He became a different person. Take it easy. Don't push. <laughs> I, I was in the room with him when we did, when we did the day out with him. He became a different person when that hairline came on. Yep. yep. He was a nice, old, sweet old man. And then when that hair came on, mm. he was harassing the hair and makeup guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like a, you know what he is? He's like a gremlin. Mm -hmm. But, but J They're Dr. Nice James. Day, right? Yeah. Dr. James Weiner is coming on Wednesday, not Jimmy Lee. Oh, we really? Talk specifically, Jimmy Lee is not well. He's not oh. well. We want James Weiner. Okay. <clears throat> Because he's going to co-host with me. And the last time was fantastic. Yeah, last time I loved it. Yeah, it was great. <laughs> you really won't know before I die because no one will remember me as a dentist. But I need to carry a legacy on the people remember me as the guy in the street that was the wise guy, the funny. <laughs> Dude, okay. The wise guy. Look at his hair. <laughs> it's just like a <laughs> monolith of black color. Where is he finding these track suits? I've never seen those. Look how big the zipper Strictly is. Strictly Adidas, Hila. But, why but is I've never so seen big? that from Adidas. Yeah, I is it a knockoff? I think no, I'm, no, I because I remember when he got it. He got it from the <laughs> store in uh, on uh, Melrose. I'm, That's hmm, crazy. That zipper stood out to me. Yeah, it's, like I'm I, telling you, I I know everything, and this is uh, I've never seen that. That's a huge zipper. Yeah, there's big gaps. <laughs> <laughs> the pocket too. <laughs> wise guy, the funny guy, but a good guy, and I need to know everybody knows me and loves me. We're here to see you. No, you're not. No, we're dead serious. What's my name? Jimmy Lee, the Jersey, Jersey Outlaw. Oh, they ah, do we love you. I, didn't, I the thought best. you were joking. Why, why, why'd you get famous, though? Uh, uh, okay. Doing street comedy. <laughs> I see yeah, it. Yeah, that's, that's what happened. <laughs> I see the... Oh, it's a Jeremy Scott Adidas. Oh, so he got that official swag. Didn't he say he was hooked mm. up? They, they gave it to him once on the show? Yeah, That's yeah, full yeah. of shit. Yeah, he bought it. <laughs> yeah, he definitely bought it. <laughs> <laughs> your your baby thing. Hooked up with his no. credit card. Oh, look at the He's, he's harassing this Get poor girl. Uh, doing street comedy. Take your thing off your baby thing. Let me see how pretty you are. Take the baby off. Don't Can touch her, bro. Oh just, just to clarify, as a Muslim woman, she's not even... <laughs> 
<laughs> really supposed to be touched by him at all. Why are you touching her? Stop, bro. Or a Stop. covered woman, rather. Religious? Yeah, I like it's it better than me. Of course she's religious. <laughs> what did you th Wait, what did he say here? <laughs> better than my regular Hold on. He said some crazy shit here, I'm sure of it. God, Jimmy. You never learn. Yeah, I like it better than my regular job. Oh, oh he, that was he just was a cross cut. Teeth. Teeth. Okay. Dentist. In Italy, dentista. He's a dentist. We can play the piano. He can sing. He's got the, the comedy. When you think of the totality. Okay, so this, this is, is big. This is big right here. <laughs> this is new Jimmy. Whoa. Whoa. This Wait. Larry fucking Wiener. Whoa. Jimmy's brother. I want to talk to Larry. Okay, so Whoa. wait. Because Larry. You got a Larry unlocked? <laughs> Didn't he say he, he had a fractured family with his brother? He had, Is this a different brother or um, is this a strange brother? I can't recall. I think if I, cr I could be wrong, I believe there are three siblings total Jimmy, Larry, and I think there's okay. another one. Larry. God, he looks just like him, but. He's just, he decided to stop holding on to the, on the head. He decided to grow up. Dude. <laughs> yeah, you're not the fooling, grown up one. You're not fooling me. They hired Stanley Tucci to play his brother. <laughs> that does look like the Tucci. Yeah. When I Holy look at shit. him, I see Jim Carrey and yeah. Jimmy Lee. Yeah, yeah me too. too. His bro got nice teeth. This Get isn't him. even the most shocking. Well, his brother is a dentist. Yeah. All right, let's see. quality of what the kid has, it's resilience. True. Yeah. Well, sure. he's not That's one way of putting right it. Now, Mason. Okay, Mason. Also a huge lore unlock. I what? This is Mason. They got Mason. And We've I, never we seen Mason, get Mason, right? Okay, so the last time we did the live show, Jimmy FaceTimed me with him. Oh. So oh. I did meet Mason. So you, you have had yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think it's a decoy, dude. <laughs> this is the same kid, and it, well, you know. Mm. This is a decoy. It's the same dude. Paid act growing and stuff, and I think... It's a whole different ballpark that we're in with Jimmy. Because it's all about Jimmy Lee. What does it mean to be from New Jersey? It, okay. So what happened here? This I'm so curious yeah. about. The, the comedy. When you think of Sorry, the totality. Sorry, I fast forward too damn much. Well, obviously, he's not famous right now, but he's growing and stuff. And I think <laughs> it's a whole different <laughs> ballpark that we're in with Jimmy. Because it's all about Jimmy Lee. What does it mean to be from New Jersey? It, it's a lot of energy, a lot of FOMO. Do you have any Jersey jokes in your mind? Do you know what uh, Delaware wore to the uh, to the party? What? For New Jersey. Okay. Now you want me to get to the funny ones? South Philly is still Italian, so you still have these kind of like shit talking guys. It's like a time machine. No one. Okay, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they must have just met him. Maybe he did a call out for people. Uh, I don't think they're involved in any official capacity. Mm -hmm can tell you, hey, there's no space for this in the discussion, unless they want to weaponize like a nebulous mob of haters against you. Who, Andrew? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I said he's looking real good. Real healthy. Is that a, that's mm -hmm. a ironic statement? Yeah. He doesn't look bad. He just cut his hair. Looks fine. Uh, Del Delaware wore to the, uh, to the party. <laughs> he looks fine. <laughs> He just cut his hair, man. <laughs> <laughs> Tough crowd. Jeez Louise. New Jersey. Okay. Now you want me to get to the funny ones? South Philly is still Italian, so you still have these kind of like shit talking guys. It's like a time machine. No one can tell you, hey, there's no space for this in the discussion. God damn it, I always Unless rewind too much. Sorry, guys. Like a nebulous mob of haters against you. God, he's, he's the man. Just about I think, I think famous. All 12 of you. No, come on, everybody. I will be I'll at uh, everybody. Sundance in uh, uh, December. So, uh... Oh, no, it's not. No, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. I'll watch it, shit. Yeah. Jimmy Lee, like you've never seen him before, it says. <laughs> I highly doubt that. <laughs> I've seen every single uh, iteration of Jimmy Lee by now. I thought, anyway. All right. Very exciting. Mm-hmm. Judgment Day. This is good. The animation. This was made by animator uh, Pam Tree. Their main channel has close to a million subs. And I guess I uh, this was a passion project the to make my... that they were too embarrassed to post to their main channel, which I understand. Which is a H3 fan animation. So here we go. Three billion human lives ended on August 29th, 2083. 
The survivors of the nuclear fire called the war Judgment Day. They lived only Jesus. to face a new nightmare. Is that Elo? Against the Lovebots. Yeah. Bot. yeah. What? Like, Whoa. You know what I mean? This oh, is the uh, opening of Terminator 2. Yeah. Where's my shoe, Paloma? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. That was so good. Okay. Oh, that's good. It's like a shot for shot remake. Of yeah. Thing. Wait, it looks so good. Yeah. Goddamn right. Amy did that. Everyone saw that. Not the Zoom Strowman. Beaker Dynamics. <laughs> Yeah. Walking back and forth. Like, yeah. This is horrifying. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 Whee! No. Whee! Thank you uh, for putting the time into editing this. That was, sick. That was awesome. That was awesome. For nothing but love of the game. Wait, it's not open. Yeah, there's more. Holy crap! Oh, shit. Post credit scene. Oh, oh the button. Oh. I think I'm gonna don gun press this button right here. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh my oh. god! Oh, he's going back in time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's genius! Oh, that's so good. That's awesome. I love that. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Well done. Well done. Bravo. Yes, bravo. Bravo. This, uh, pa uh, this is the second channel, so Padme is the main channel? Yeah, main channel's here. Pam Tree. Pam Tree. Pam -tree. We love Pam Tree, don't we, folks? Yeah, no, a real friend of the show out here. Can we watch one of his videos? Just to give him, uh, some love? Let's see. Let's see what's That was awesome. Pam Minecraft in a nutshell. 46. 50 million views. Whoa. This doesn't have Minecraft sex in it, does it? Remember that? Uh, I don't yeah. remember that, but I don't think this is. We probably one of should those. screen these just in case before. I guess we got the button. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got the button. Yeah, 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 Oh, oh, you are, I'm a crapper, I'm a blow your house into the diamond. <laughs> oh no. Explosion sounds and pixelated explosions, boom, ah, ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> Oh no, me house and diamond, I am dead. Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> yes, plot twist, it's a me, Santiago. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Ham tree, everybody. <laughs> Very good. Uh, fantastic. We love it. There it is. Friends of the show. Moving on. I guess we should probably move on to something, one of our main stories here. It's already 350. <laughs> Talk about something in the title. I mean, the high school loan lunch money thing was pretty crazy. You're, this is going to blow your mind. I don't know if you heard this conversation. I don't think I have. We were talking about how in elementary school, yeah. Lunch costs 35 cents. And if you didn't have the money, they, they wouldn't fucking feed you. Really? 35 cents. And then you could get a loan in the office. Mm. So some people started sharing their stories. And uh, this one stood out to me. And I'm sure it's true. And this is probably even, I would say, common for people our age. At my high school, you could be loaned lunch money two times. If you tried more than that, they'd throw the food away instead of letting you eat it. That's so stupid. A thousand percent they would do that. A yeah. thousand percent. I feel like I've seen that. It's like this, there's this famous scene from Grapes of Wrath. During the Depression, they were burning oranges and extra produce because they didn't want to give it away for free while people <laughs> were starving to death. It's like, this is happening in elementary schools. Um, at my school, a girl had already borrowed her lunch twice. She forgot she hadn't paid off from the last time before she got to the checkout line. 
When she said she didn't have money, they took the lunch tray from her hands and dumped it into the garbage right in front of her because they couldn't put the food back. Jesus. Hearing them talk about school lunch reminds me of that. They would rather waste food than let you eat it. That is like... That's so dumb. So sick. It's a child, and it's so humiliating, too, to right. a child. You feel that stuff so deep. I remember I was, I, I was really embarrassed when I, at times when I didn't have the money. But to get, be humiliated, how could you even do that as a person? We don't have a food um, court in Israel at the school. Is there food at all? What, you just bring? You just you, bring food with you. There's no food there at all. Mm -mm. Hmm. Interesting. At my school, they would let you rack up lunch loans to a point. But if you had an unpaid balance, you were not allowed to go on field trips, attend school dances, what? or get a yearbook. Jesus. And at the end of senior year, if you still had lunch balance, they wouldn't give you your diploma. So serious. No graduation for you, hungry poor peasants. My God. It's so, like, insanely serious. For, for what? <laughs> well, and, like, for most of the people that work in, like, the kitchens are, like, volunteers. or of people. Mm -hmm. Like, right. how can you look at a child in the face and then dump their lunch in the trash? <laughs> Like, give it, give it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh my God. So evil. Thank you. <laughs> nice. Golly, dude. Yeah, when I was at school, I didn't have, in middle school specifically, they, they sold pizza slices. And I survived on the generosity of my friends giving me one of their pepperonis. Yeah. I've had over 40 pizzas in the last 30 days. Ugh. Embarrassing. To beg for pepperonis. <laughs> <laughs> this person says they're pushing kids for something that is the parents' responsibility. If you're totally. poor, you get a free lunch like I did. But some people's parents have money but just don't give a fuck about their kids. Which is kind of where I was, probably. More so. <laughs> let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's, let's um, go lunch. But, like I said, California just became... I think the first state in the country that offers free breakfast and lunch to everybody. Really? That's it. cool. Yep. Wow. That's awesome. California, baby. That's how we great. do it around here. Love that. I do love that. That is correct. Yep. First state. Huh? I said, yeah, that's correct. First state. Mm. The first state in this beautiful nation. Hmm. That's it, man. You talk. Hey, next time someone talks shit about California, say, well, they give every kid free breakfast and lunch at school. And then Joe Rogan be like, that's bullshit. Kids need to learn to fucking... <laughs> they need to learn to suffer. You yeah. know what I mean? Gotta earn. There ain't no such thing as free lunch. Free five Even rounds. if you five. Gotta work for it, bro. Gotta beg for pepperoni like I used to. <laughs> I don't want to pay for kids' lunches. There actually are people who are like very opposed to free school lunches because they think they don't want to support other people's kids. Oh my God. They go, my kids aren't doing the free lunch because they're, I feed them. So why should I feed other people's kids? It's like psycho. It's crazy. Psycho. I'm seeing that one school lunch costs $3. <laughs> I, dude, it's very expensive <laughs> to feed kids. Well, three, feed every I, kid I, in the country, it's very, very, very expensive. Yeah, but just consider out what else. Crazy stuff. We I know, like on a person by person basis, but it's probably, I'm sure it's costing like tens of billions of dollars probably per year. Yeah, but I don't know. What's the budget on the, on the lunch program in California? Let's see. It's probably, like, yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's little. It's so easy to spend $3, in my opinion, for like a government on a child. Well, it's a state. Right. So we have a state budget that we're dipping into. Also, there's like 60 million people in California. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, it's very free in Sweden. Completely. Are you looking into that? Yeah. Um, we're going through the bill right now. You know, that's $6 a day for every kid. Oh, there's no way it's $6 a day per kid. Well, Love was it's saying it's $3 per meal. $5 if you count breakfast, usually. $5 per day? Yeah. So, I mean, every kid in elementary, middle, and high school... Five dollars a day. I mean, that that's a that's a significant amount of money. Kids loved Hitler, but it's a price we should all be willing to oh, pay. Oh, here you go. Mm -hmm. Olivia found it. This sounds. Uh, twenty twenty two budget act. 
This is for California. So it's uh, 596 million. So about half a billion. And then half a billion. And then additional 150. Or what's the 150 for? That's for other programs to increase. Uh, hold on, I just had it up right now. So it's nine. So it's 590 plus 150. So it's like 740 million. Hey, that's a lot of money. California state budget. I mean, how much does California take in in taxes? That is a good question. How much does California take in taxes God every year? <laughs> they just play this in the cafeteria. That's right. A damn Lord, country. It's a damn shame. It's a damn shame. Um, probably 1% of the LAPD budget. Yeah, maybe. No, LA, what, uh, no, that's not true. LAP, LAPD budget is like a billion. Uh, so it looks like uh, the past fiscal year, 2022 through 2023, um, the general funds budget of California was uh, 22 billion. Nice. What does California spend all of its money on? kinds of shit because like other states don't even have the income tax like and we have all this money we what, have what do we do with it all you know we have a lot of public services here in california compared to a lot of other states just think about all the complaints we hear about people that move to texas i just read an article the other day mm -hmm. about it was funny because uh, everybody was like making fun of this person on twitter but i thought it actually was insightful they were like a silicon valley person who moved to Austin like so many people from California are doing and he was just talking about how terrible the public services are there like you don't even realize um like what well, school system and uh utilities cost a fuck ton there apparently hmm. and and they suck of, like in Texas the, and they're bad the right grid it's like worse service with oh. way more money just turns off until it gets hot and tight. So that's good to know, you know what I mean? Right. Like, hey, it's we pay a price, but I guess stuff's good here, you know? And I like that. I like that. I like California. I ain't trying to leave, tip, spend, you know, save 10% on your income tax so that kids can't, you just because kids want to eat lunch at school? It's psychotic. Actually psychotic. I lived in California my whole life. If I'm going to start making a bunch of money and then bail to another state just because I don't want to pay 10% to support the other people in my state I grew up in, it's pathetic, in my opinion, to leave for that. No loyalty, man. Love for state, bruh. Right? Well, so, I feel like <laughs> once you're at the point where you're making enough money, why do you care? It's never enough. Right. I mean, I've talked to people who do that. They go, I could save, you know, $2 million by moving to Texas mm -hmm. a year. It's a lot of money. But ultimately, when you die, is that $2 million extra you're saving going to have any impact on your life? If you're making that much, right. that means you're making $20 million a year if you're saving that much. Easy to say when you're rich? Well, that's my point. That's we are talking point. about rich people yeah. that moved out because of the tax. Yeah, that's kind of my point, you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, what does California's state budget look like? I am curious. Hold that up for me. What are we spending our money on, man? You know? Uh, okay, well, here's a summary chart. Uh, this is exciting. Content. Again, here's the general fund. We got charts, balance. guys. I'll make it bigger. <laughs> Safety net reserve. Public schools. We have nine hundred dollars. That's it. Yo, there's like, only nine hundred dollar reserve. <laughs> millions. What is? <laughs> it's the budget, the state budget. Um, by agency. Oh, Can I just get a pie chart? Yeah, I got. I sent you a pie yeah, chart. Yeah, All right, you got a pie chart. Yeah, give me a pie chart. Just scroll down a little bit. All right, let's take a look here. Total state funds. The biggest one here is health and human services. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. There you go, dude. Higher education. Bye -bye. That to me is hilarious that worse. The state is giving colleges money and it's still 
so fucking expensive. Like what? Right. Yeah, you, the, I mean the UC system is one of the best college systems in the country too. Right. So. Well, the UC system is supposed to be like affordable for California residents, and it is significantly cheaper mm -hmm. for California residents. Right. But it's still really expensive. Still very expensive. They're hard to get into too, and they're hard to get into. Yeah, they don't, you know what's crazy? They don't favor people from the state. So, like, even if you live here, it's so hard to get in those schools. And then the, so you have 36% health and human services, 26% uh, kindergarten to 12th grade education, 8% higher education. And you can click on any of these That's for a breakdown. Transportation. Uh, business. So, I mean, it seems like we're doing it on pretty good stuff here. And right you, can, you can click on any of those pie charts. Um, categories for a specific breakdown of where it goes. Mm. This wow. is great. Mm -hmm. Looks good to me, right? I didn't know you could look up this kind of stuff. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, should, it's all <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at mostly, but yeah, it looks great. Wait, what? The environmental protection is 1.7. Can you click that? I feel like that <laughs> should be higher. Mm. Well, I mean, so uh, like what's our the state police? is constantly on fire, you know what I mean? Let's put a little more money there. What's the police budget? It's not in on Yeah, here. where is police? Well, uh, uh, law enforcement, the city for the most thing, part, right? is a municipal thing. Yeah. Um, um, there yeah. are state police, but compared to, like, LAPD, it's very small. Oh. Uh, okay. So I would imagine that's in judicial state? and executive, this kind of stuff. What's that? There's Anyways, that this has there. to be really, really fascinating for everybody that doesn't live in California. <laughs> so, uh, well, I'm just, it's a peek into the state, uh, you know, mm -hmm. bureaucracy. Put, put up a little bit, up a little bit, tiny bit. This is the biggest one. Secretary of State, why are they getting paid so much? What the fuck? Department well, I, of Justice. Probably not just to them personally. Or maybe it is, I don't know. All right, thank you. <laughs> just defend my state a little bit here, you know what I mean? <laughs> now, LA, on the other hand, is a different story. These motherfuckers gotta get their shit together. <laughs> because look at this. Police is the second uh. expenditure. The top one is other special purpose funds. Can you, can you be more specific, yeah, what, please? <laughs> what? You can if you click on it, I think it says. Um, other, there's no data. I clicked Very it. good. But yeah, I mean, this is a huge problem in LA. The police annual budget is two billion. This is for 2023, maybe that's why there's no data. Two no, billion? No, down, you'll see more. Am I reading that right? Uh, yeah. Two billion? LA City spends two billion a year on police? That's bizarre, dude. But that's like 10% of the entire state budget. Spend a lot of money on cops. That doesn't two even make billion? sense. Yeah, because they buy them like tanks and shit. <laughs> dude, that's crazy. Yeah, that's a big problem here in this in the city. Thank you. We gotta, if only, we just need more money for the police. Yeah. <laughs> so that this city can finally be safer. P politicians actually run on that. They go, we gotta clean up this city by <laughs> increasing the budget to the police. That's crazy. It's like they already have every, all the money. How can you actually say those words? Because, it just sounds good, I guess. We need to give them another billion dollars so that they can have more tanks, more missile launchers, more... Apache helicopters to rain hellfire on the homeless. We still haven't talked about anything. All right, let's move on. Let's do some. Let's do some stuff now. God, there's so much that we have to catch up on because of the short week we had. Actually, shit, I got to show you this video. It blew my fucking mind. I've never seen anything like it. This is in Australia, which is you know where you expect to see stuff like this. But even still, I had a hard time believing this was real. Watch this. Oh. What? Away. No! Yeah. No way. Yeah. <laughs> that is freaky. They're freaky what is it doing up there? It's a giant fucking Dad, snake going from oh the rooftop to a tree. Yeah. And this so looks like an, the anaconda snake <gasps> that you see in the ah, <laughs> This is not real. <laughs> How crazy is that? This can't be real. <laughs> it's real. <laughs> Only in Australia, man. Wait, Only. Really oh my god. Terrifying. What is it doing up there? 
That is like a straight yeah, prehistoric yeah. beast. Right so cool and yeah. scary at it the is. same time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's so strong. This snake. Yeah. So powerful. <gasps> like magic. He's going to yeah. Now. Watch the tail okay, falls okay, off. Okay, okay. It's so He's massive. Go You're going to the next tree. This snake and tree trap. What is a snake doing on trees? Time team guy. No, for real. This looks like a magical creature in a Disney movie or Look something. Look at that tail, dude. Oh my god. He's just, he's just he's flying. Yeah, basically. Imagine this thing falling on you. Hey? It must be so heavy. What does that thing eat? Kangaroo? People. People. Uh, <laughs> the dangos. It eats the dangos. So that was wow. that's pretty incredible, right? That's I just want to cool. watch that snake all day. I would I wouldn't mind that. Be Brand fun. drama. I don't, that was so cool. Pandemic boy, but uh, twenty three. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Um, so cool. Also, this is kind of funny. Before we move on, I'm almost done. Now is the time to invest in phase stock. I know y'all been looking for the right mm -hmm. time to enter. Yeah. It is at the lowest price it's ever oh. been, at twenty three cents. Down ninety six percent. Now is the time. I was saying, if I put like, if I can put together a million dollars, I think I'd be a majority owner of this company. Going to the moon, baby! We're gonna be making some serious changes around All here. All according phase. to plan. Daddy Ethan's about to come. Hostile call the shot. takeover. Oh, that's crazy. So good for them, you know. It's always smart. It's always a good idea to go IPO. It's always smart. So shut out FaZe Clan. FaZe up. FaZe up. Phase or FaZe down. Up. FaZe down. FaZe down. <laughs> FaZe up, but FaZe down also. Alright, so let's talk- let's do the PowerPoint first. And then we'll come back and do the, uh... The, uh, the gay Obama story, which is so good. Obama. <laughs> gay Obama, and then Logan and Dylan. Alright, so- so you wanna get started, um... Alright. Uh, I've seen a lot of chatter about this. Me Joe too. Jonas. I didn't know they were getting- I mean, I knew they were together and that they had a kid. Right. I knew Ooh. that much, but that was all that Joe. I knew. But then I just- they're- he's- then they're getting divorced. I mean, it's sad, you know? They just had mm -hmm. a kid. I mean, geez, man. Let's- let's- let's work it out. Mm. But, uh... Well, when you get to that point, I'm assuming it's not workable anymore. Yeah, probably not. So here, let me open, uh... Let me open the PowerPoint. Now, how do we feel about the Jonas Brothers? Because uh, I don't know much about him. I'm I'm acquainted with Frankie, the younger one. He's a fan, mm -hmm. and we love Frankie. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know much about these Jonas boys. Same. We like the Jonas Brothers. We yeah. do. We grew up listening to and watching the Jonas Brothers. Okay. They all have, like, super famous, like, significant others, too, it seems they like. They do, yes. Sophie Turner, uh, Priyanka Chopra, and Kevin's wife. She was on a reality show with him. I don't know her name, though. There it is. So, I'm a sucker for divorce, Goss? Is that the name of this? <laughs> Alright, I'm a sucker for divorce, Goss. <laughs> what the hell? She what happened so to different. this photo? Wait, why does she look so different? That's bizarre, yeah. I is think the photo warped? is distorted. Is that her? That's her, yeah. It looks warped. Like her, it looks pulled. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I well, think it's just a distorted. Also, so, he looks gone angle. as shit. Before we begin, very quickly, a rundown of what has gone on this past week. Joe Jonas filed for divorce from his wife, actress Sophie Turner, known for Game of Thrones. Um, it seems, though, that the media is reporting clashing narratives. So we want to investigate that a little bit today. Um, mm. The whole world is basically just speculating and trying to guess what's happening right now. I mean, now. I'll just say right off the bat, I do not have love for men who divorce their newly birthed significant others. I mean, that's fucked. Like, you see it all the time, these successful guys, they bail on their significant other who's destroyed, well, I'm not, I'm not get too dramatic, but they've gone through so much, they've changed their body to give mm -hmm. them a beautiful gift of children, and then they bail for some new ass. Well, and we it's don't know so that. shallow. No, we don't know that specifically about him. I think Ethan is just saying in general, in general it's something like it. that, that you oh, see happen. Agree. I and I mean, don't like yeah, it. they just had a kid, and he's divorcing her. I mean, come on, dude. 
Again, I don't know any of the details, so let's move yeah. on. Right. Players, Mr. Joe Jonas of the Jonas Brothers. Do we need any clarification about where he comes from? I don't think so. It's just a, they do music. They had like a yes. boy band. They're like the yeah. Mbop kids, right? Yeah, they split up for a second. They Wait, came back together they after did their Mbop? solos. That's handsome. Yeah. What? Oh, that's handsome. I brother. thought I was kidding, but you you co <laughs> Go to Joe. Uh, <laughs> who's better, Hanson or Joe. Jonas Bros? Three oh. Yeah, Jonas three. Bros. Jonas. Love Bug is a good song. It's very very <laughs> powerful. Mbop. All right. Very good. Okay, Sophie Turner. Game of Thrones, she is most known for. Um, she started in that show when she was 14. Oh my God, I love the hair. Oh, they have two kids together. All right. Two saying. kids? Damn. The most romantic meet cute location is where our lovebirds met each other. Um, Joe slid into Sophie's DMs in 2016 and the two hit it off. Um, at the time, Joe was 26, 27, and <clears throat> Sophie was like 19, 20. Okay. Little girl. Mm -hmm. um, then Joe swaps that 2010's purity ring for a wedding band. Uh, the Jonas Brothers were known for wearing purity rings in their teen years. Um, uh, what they're like? Yes. They were like virgins. Yeah, they ditched them though. They yeah. all ditched. You know them. who else had a purity ring? Mm. Like, not to be offended. Like, never mind. Everyone else who had sex before marriage. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Doesn't mean much. Um, all right, so after one year of dating, the two were engaged, and then they got married in Vegas in 2019, and then afterwards they had a more formal celebration. Okay. Okay. Next, baby one. Next, baby two. <laughs> okay. Next. What was that okay. Photoshop? Oh, Wait, I this just, isn't the real A little baby. something I threw together last night. <laughs> Wait, is that... Go back. Is his face not Photoshop? Oh, I didn't that do picture? that one. That one, I think TMZ posted that with their birth a, announcement. Am I tripping? Is it just a weird picture? What? Because his face looks like pasted on there. That it, it, it definitely does. Faces, does. So pasted yeah. On. yeah, that's the work of TMZ. So TMZ made <laughs> Photoshop. Maybe, maybe it's just the background they pasted on there. I can't tell. It's just very yeah. odd. Yeah. Wait, it what are you talking odd. about? You didn't make this, Olivia? I didn't make the photo of them holding Wait, a child. What? I made the balloons. This is clearly Photoshop. Look at his hairline. <laughs> and the balloons are obviously. Oh, we're trying to see if it's if it's his face photoshopped on that body. It definitely yes. is. Or is it a photo? That's what it looks like, bro. And, but that background's photoshopped as well. So what the fuck did me they off. do? Yeah, right. It's not even a good Photoshop. Like, look here, but between his ears and they didn't even really <laughs> try. I thought Olivia did this in like a minute. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now I wish. There it is. Okay, so now we've caught up to present time. Okay. Um, TMZ reported earlier this week that Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner were heading for a divorce. Now we're going to get into each bit of information that was released to the public, and we're going to try to piece together what we think is happening, because the rest of the world is doing that as well. Okay, fair. So, before we begin, hold on. Go to the next slide. Hold on. <laughs> Everything is speculation. Keep it in mind, Okay. Uh, the next slide is only is the only definitive information we have from the horses' mouths themselves. So, a statement between the two was posted to Instagram. Um, after four wonderful years of marriage, uh, we have mutually decided to amicably end our marriage. There are many speculative narratives as to why, but truly, this is a united decision, and we sincerely hope that everyone can respect our wishes for privacy, uh, for privacy for us and our children. Oh, beautiful statement. Mm -hmm. So that's the end. All right. I think Good that show. sounds beautiful. The PowerPoint. Wow, I'm happy. Good. I love to see it. You know, it's Thank nice you. when people can separate amicably for this, you know. So yeah. mature, polite. Yeah. Yes. All right, I guess that it just says ne the end next. Yeah, that's fair. Oh. oh. <laughs> All right. Breaking. It's then reported. Some people, I thought when I saw this for the first time, I was like, that's a little bit weird. <laughs> like, why did they report that? Like, right after the divorce thing, it said, amid their separation, Joe Jonas has reportedly been caring for his two children with Sophie Turner pretty much all of the time over the last three months, even while on tour. Mm. And it's just like, Sus. what do you mean? That's a really loaded line. Yeah. Amid this their is, separation. Uh, really dragging her. <laughs> that's a plan. Yeah. As a mom. Well, something that is happening in Sophie's life is she took she kind of cooled off from working when they had their babies and she is now back in England filming for like the first time since mm -hmm. so, so that's that's what she's been doing 
in like the past two weeks. Amid yeah. their separation, Joe Jonas has been caring for his two kids, with Sophie Turner, Turner, pretty much all of the time, quote, over the last three months. Because Sophie Even posted. While on tour. Here, this is this really rubbing me off. So where'd the they wrong get that way. information? No, TMZ that's reported. His words. It's all like insider. No, he, it was leaked to the press. I'm assuming. Right. Right. So, like, yes. So supposedly his words, right? The quote part. Do you remember when um, we were talking about Ariana Grande and we were talking yeah. about like insiders? It's that these outlets have a relationship with someone who is yeah. close to the celebrity. Sometimes I think that the celebrity doesn't know or I don't know, but it's just like there is a link there and then they each want to preserve those relationships so like they don't fuck over each other. But so he put out the nice amicable statement, but then right. in the meantime, putting out this kind of shit. Correct. And I mean, look, three months, that's how marriage works, dude. I'm sorry to tell you, but you married an actress. Like, you know the fucking deal. Yeah. I mean, you know, nobody would bat their eyes if it was like her saying, I've been taking care of the kids for three months. Right. Nobody would even think that was a headline. Yeah, right. take care of your kids, dummy. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Yep. This is very weird. So after that came out, then another thing came out that said, she likes to party. He likes to stay at home. They have very different lifestyles. Bruh, who is saying this stuff? Like, that seems very... You couldn't have come up with something that's, else? That's <laughs> a hit job. That's a hit job for sure. Yeah. <laughs> she likes to party. He likes to stay home. They have... Vi okay. Okay. All right. Yep. All right. How old is she and how old is he again? Um. So, when they had their baby, she was 26 and he was... I have this written down. Uh, she was 26. She's 27 now. Yeah. And how old is he? Yeah. 34. Yeah. Oh. Okay, I mean... Um, I get the feeling... Again, I'm just speculating, but... She's probably like, Alright, I'm gonna go grab a drink with my friends. Somehow I doubt she's out there part. But what the fuck do I know? I don't know anything. Well, that's the thing. That's it's all speculation. Yeah, it's all speculation. But it's like their teams are releasing these bits so, of info. Yeah. It's so weird. That's a dirty. And at statement. this point, it's like two that are dragging her. Mm -hmm. Like, why are we doing this? There was no need for that. No need for that. Yeah, and then next, I think it is. Yeah. So then this comes out, and it says that Joe and Sophie were having problems when he became less than supportive as she struggled post-birth of their second child, and then he pressured her into attending mm -hmm. events. So mm -hmm. this is reporting that he likes to oh, go out. This mm -hmm. is so messy. Yeah. So messy. They're dragging each other yeah. through TMZ. What the fuck? Why you guys got to do this? He started it. I feel like he started it you based think? on what we're seeing. He definitely well, I mean, started yes. it. But like, this sucks. Why you guys gotta be, why is it gotta be like this? You know what I mean? I know. Like y'all would have been fine. But I feel like for a woman to accuse her of being a bad mom is like yeah. the worst thing you can do. And so I can understand. Take it personally. Why she feels like she needs to respond. Mm -hmm. That's true. It's a res direct response to that accusation. And I yeah. feel like when, I when a dad, like I also saw that article yeah. that you sent you see that a lot and we've seen it too when a dad does like the bare minimum he gets praised like oh my god what a perfect so dad true. like so we even when you just change the diaper like your own mom was telling me like he's such a great dad <laughs> yeah, that's pretty sad <laughs> and it's like the bar is so low yeah. for men well and it's cool because when you my are mom, a great dad when my mom but you know like mm -hmm. just because you change a diaper people are like <gasps> you're right and because back when they were married the guy didn't do anything it was normal for men to be like i earned the money yeah and you do the kids stuff i never change a diaper mm -hmm. yeah moms are so insanely scrutinized especially online everybody has something to say uh okay next you know what i've noticed about these photos together lots of uh glaze <laughs> they're all pretty glazed up in these photos <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of glazing happening. All right, go on. They got that Mormon glaze. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, sources tell TMZ that Joe filed for divorce after allegedly catching Sophie Turner doing or saying something on a ring camera. What is this? Joe had access to a ring cam. That's why I wrote, no, that doesn't work either. <laughs> uh, Joe had access to a ring cam that he said captured Sophie saying and or doing something that made him realize the marriage was over. What? What are these uh, weird what statements? Could that be? <laughs> <laughs> why is it so cryptic? Do what? Or saying? Like either say something or don't. What that are you trying like, to say? I mean, m- twist my arm. It kind of pushes you to be like, oh, was she having an she affair? She did some. Did well, he see or, her like cheating on him? Or she did something. Or she she did this. Something. She gave me no other choice. I won't tell you what she did. Right. But she gave me no other choice. Right. <clears throat> so a lot of people were saying that um this feels very reminiscent of britney spears um when she and justin timberlake broke up there was an insane smear campaign against her i think if you saw the britney right. documentary you know about it mm-hmm. and then britney's mothering abilities her maternal abilities were super scrutinized i was looking through a bunch of different magazine covers this is just one of them it's both of her children plastered on it and it says soda in baby bottles mommy's many men nighttime cries for daddy's love like that's so that's so invasive intrusive they don't know anything (laughs) like it's just a lot of people are saying that this feels reminiscent to the the poison yeah or would they I feel like people would get angry if, if someone did that today. I think so too. With the kid's face and shit. Yeah. Which is good. Insane. Well, they're they, adults now, those babies. But yes, today. No, I know. They I'm should saying. never. Um, yeah. So I just wanted to include there is a um, quote that a lot of people are posting right now about something that Sophie said in an L interview. In, 2022 she said i miss england so much the people the attitude everything i'm slowly trying to drag my husband back so a lot of people are saying that um it's possible that she was not feeling like her needs were being met fully okay yeah um a lot of people were saying that because she began filming Game of Thrones when she was only 14, she never really had time to experience being a young person and going out. Um, Sounds like they married when she was pretty young. She did. Yeah, right? yeah, they were. Dude, she started Game of Thrones when she was 14. Yeah. And now she's 27. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's fucked. For me. Yeah. So then the next day, Paparazzi photos come out of Joe with uh, their babies. TMZ snapped them. A lot of people speculate because it's TMZ specifically. A lot of people call paparazzi on themselves. With <laughs> that's TMZ. obviously a huge speculation. Right. But if he did do that, <laughs> that's just bottom of the barrel <laughs> shit. <laughs> but if he didn't, then he didn't. At least they blurred the faces, so you can Agreed. see there's like at least some improvement in terms of how they agree talk about the kids. At least, damn. Right. Okay, who knows? You know, yeah. it's possible that they got him. Um, yeah. Okay, and then I just know that I wanted to include because people in the chat have been spamming it. Um, she. So there is a story that Gigi Hadid told in an interview where she says that Joe Jonas, who was her boyfriend later in life, approached her when she was 13 and he was 19 and she he said asked that? her yeah here i have i you said have, on video i have the quote so she said she met jonas a musician at the grammys when i was 13 years old and that he asked me to go to a baseball game and i said no i was so nervous i literally didn't even know what it meant to hang out with a boy hadid said according to the 2015 article also grammys are on a sunday and i didn't want to tell him i had school the next day so i was like no maybe next time i didn't have my phone with me and i don't think he did either because we were at the grammys and so he wrote his number on a piece of paper and gave it to my mom she went on and then we've been friends ever since Except now, we're more than friends. Obvs. So she wasn't even trying to drag him. No. She was it was like, like that article says like <laughs> aw at the end from like the author. She signs <laughs> it like so, so cute. Wild. What what was the oh, age difference? Man. Thirteen and nineteen. Thirteen Ooh. and nineteen? That's the? so interesting <laughs> to me that like 
she thought that that didn't sound horrible, and then the author thought that sounded romantic, and then the, the mm. mom passed the number. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't they have a, a notoriously weird mom? I could Yolanda. Be. Yolanda. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Almond mom times ten. Yeah. Wow, that is super weird. Yeah, and then the story of Joe and Taylor is that he broke up with her <clears throat> over the phone, 18 second phone call. Okay, well, whatever. Can't judge him. I mean, but these are just those are stories from his past. Okay. And then next is just yo. He's is he like the cute one in the in the group? Joe is my fave. In terms of, you, he's the most desirable. He's the no. cutest. He's the cutest. He was also the lead in Camp Rock, so it, okay. he was my leading man. He in had my brain. He, yeah, yeah, he had that. Because <laughs> I mean, Taylor Swift, Gigi mm -hmm. Hadid. Yep. Yeah. You know. He's out well, there. Nick was the one who got with all like the Disney girls at the time. He dated Miley. He dated Selena. Wow. He, he got it. There it is. Yep. So thoughts. That photo, by the way, was posted by Sophie just three weeks ago. It's a glaze. This one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just a glaze shot. <laughs> I don't see glaze in this one. This doesn't look that glazed. Well, if she's kissing his him, that implies I don't think she knew that the divorce was coming, right? No, I don't think she knew. Well, they're also in public in front of cameras, you know what I mean? But, like, the kissing the hand was is an unnecessary gesture. Just, oh, they're it's not. It just kissing. happened to be in front of her face, I think. Oh, is that right? So then, That's I mean. That's how I see it. Who knows, then? Who knows? Mm -hmm. What do you think, Olivia? I don't know. I am hesitant. It's just a fed picture, you know? To be definitive about every anything. Um, I thought she's kissing his hand, but if not, then it really doesn't say much. Yeah. Well, but, she's definitely kissing his hand. It looks like either so? if she knew about the divorce, they were covering it up, or she was blindsided, maybe. Is I don't know it? why else you would post a photo of you, like, kissing your husband if you were getting a, a I agree. divorce. Yeah. I think it, it, yeah. it implies, if anything, that she didn't, she didn't know. She didn't know. Yeah, I agree. Is that it? Well... Yes, that is. Oh, that's wow. all the info we have. That's it. That's it. Well, wait. People have been like dragging Joe, and mm. I feel I, like it's I, been going both ways. I think be, if seen. anybody's well, dragging him, it's probably because it looks like he started this and made it very messy. Yeah, the um, court of public opinion right now is calling out the smear campaign that people think Joe is Joe's team is doing against Sophie right now. And mm -hmm. what are people criticizing Sophie for? What, is she, what could she have done? Well, the, the, the accusations of said. she's not a good mother, she's not... Neglecting She likes kids. to party. Like, those are the things that were released that she... Yeah, I don't know. So nonspecific. I mean, no, yeah, doesn't totally. really say anything. Enough to, I don't think, criticize somebody for... But you know people do. Okay. That's what's happening. Yes, just very, very messy. That's what's happening today. <laughs> so that was shorter than I thought, so maybe we'll have Joe's time for everything. Doing Sorry. All right, so should we do, I guess, a poll and see who's team who? <laughs> should we gauge? I know, I know who's team what. I don't think Joe's going to have much support in our audience. It's hard to see where he's not Joe. the dick in this situation. Joe. It's hard to see it. Go to Joe. With the facts as they are. <laughs> Joe, 2011. 30330. He's the best, isn't he, folks? Okay. We're rooting for you, Joe. Team for everything. Do it. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to imagine. Um that he's not the dick here. Well, 87% are Team Joe, Sophie, yeah. Right? Yeah. That's pretty skewed. Because the thing, the thing that he put out is like super non-specific. It's like, oh, there was ring footage. She did something mm -hmm. on the ring. She likes to party. It's like, okay. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right. Well, we wish you all the best, don't we? Wish them all the mm -hmm. best. Yes. Wish Joe. them all. Go.
go to Joe. Joe. Jonas. <laughs> 20 old. 25. Go to Joe. <laughs> Three Joe. Oh, three. Three old. Three. Joe. I'm gay. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. What was that, Joe Biden? Joe? I'm gay. Me too? Why did he say that? I think he was talking about a gay marriage or something like that. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> I think that was Obama's line. Uh, speaking of which, let's go to Obama then, because this shit is old. Obama. Mm -hmm. So are you, do you know what this is? I only know from the title, not, um, I haven't seen anything about it. Can you get me the, uh, trailer? The teaser he did? Because I see we have the full link to the interview. Uh, sure, I can get you the he, So he interviewed this what guy. Was that? <laughs> interviewed this guy. And thank God Tucker is... He's untethered by the restraints of journalistic... Fake news. <laughs> the journalistic integrity of mm -hmm. Fox News. Because now he can do really hard-hitting mm -hmm. stories like this. The gay guy that had sex and smoked crack with Obama. Love it. Um, here's that the has to be true. Here's the here's the trailer that dropped. Tucker posted this on Twitter, and this is when we all kind of lost our mind. I was in town for the night, and it sounds like you're looking to party. Yeah. Pulled up in a bar outside, and there's this guy that's introduced to me as Barack Obama. I had given Barack two hundred. Oh, I love him. Tucker, why? What are we Literally, doing? he goes, this man claims he had sex. It's like, okay, well, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Come interview me. <laughs> like, do we have any corroborating oh evidence? Oh, my God. I don't need any. Well, we do. We have a I lot of it. evidence about the story, actually, but not not in the affirmative. We have yeah, a lot of rich. evidence of why the story is Oh, I can tell not. you right off the bat. If Obama wanted to fuck dudes, he could pull... <laughs> that man can pull some fine dick. Way better, so much way better than this guy, right? Yeah. some yeah, crackhead yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking, you know. Yeah, yeah. And dick too. <laughs> no offense to crackhead. Snaggle tooth. To pay for coke. I start putting a line on a CD I mean, he's missing to teeth. Snort, and next thing I know, he's got a little Obama pipe wouldn't give you a second so I just look. started rubbing my hand along this thigh to see where I it was going. I love the music. So, so, <laughs> so give me a really <laughs> detailed account of exactly oh how the sex played out. Oh, I put my hands on his thighs, and we started to engage, and all of a sudden, is that what he looked like at the time? Yeah. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at the time. No, I think this was from, I could be wrong, I thought this was from an article, because this is an Hold old up. story. This is, it was in 99, this is, a. Uh, oh yeah, I guess not at the time, but the there. first time that he came out publicly about this. So this was around the time that Obama was running for president. Oh, I see, so this was oh. a headline on some tabloid bullshit. On the National Examiner, yeah. This is like Bat Boy stuff, isn't it? Yes. What? And so, so Tucker said, I'm going to go to the Bat Boy magazine. <laughs> years later? And dig this up. Yeah, like 10 years later. Oh my Obama, God. he's not in the public eye pretty much at all. <laughs> this is the level of journalism Tucker Carlson I didn't know doing. that this was an old story. Yeah, it goes all the way back to the campaign, like 2008. Oh my God. Obama yeah. hid gay lifestyle to be president. Marriage to Michelle is a sham. He had, had sex, sex with, with this, this man? <laughs> And that looks like a mugshot, too. Wow. I believe it is, because he has a long rap sheet, yeah. this guy. <laughs> I love that they inquire, <laughs> the examiner used the mugshot, like, you know, they're like, we don't believe this shit either. <laughs> but it's funny. Yeah. Tucker's like, I buy it. I buy Not it. Not only does he buy it, he really is, like, diving in. Yep. Tell me more. Digging it up. It went the direction I had intended it to go. Even though you had sex with him twice, you did cocaine with him, watched him smoke crack twice, you had no idea who he was. I had no idea who he was. And how big was his cock, would you say? <laughs> was he a good lover? Uh, I do have some information about that, actually. Oh, tell us. Yeah. Tucker didn't ask him, but somebody else did, I found in a... <laughs> what did he say? Well, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Okay. Obama's got a hog, for sure. It's a shocking revelation. It's a shocking <laughs> revelation. The obvious question, what was Obama like on crack? Uh, <laughs> what was he like on crack? <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> what was Obama like on crack? Wait. <sighs> I have that part timestamp where this he explains what he was like This is crazy. This, this is fucking so with me. unbelievably absurd. How fucking absurd. embarrassing for Tucker Carlson. Like, for real. Like, it feels how like a sketch. Fucking, like a comedy sketch. How do you look at yourself after this? This is so pathetic. But, dude. like, it has 190,000 likes and 72 million views on Twitter. Sure, I think so. even Tucker's like, you know what? 
<laughs> this is completely wrong, but it's entertaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is national, <laughs> national exam. But he's basically the bat boy reporter now. <laughs> Let's go. Is it your sense that that's who Obama is, just transactional, or that he's bisexual, or like, what is that? It definitely well, wasn't Barack's first time, and I would almost be willing to bet you it wasn't as long. The guy's running for <laughs> What was that? Just little old me. The strobe. Little old crackhead me. <laughs> He's like, ah. <laughs> oh, this is so good. It wasn't his running first for time. And credible information comes out that he's smoking crack and having sex with dudes. That's having like sex with dudes. Well, it would be a story if the media really cared about telling people the truth. Oof. Hey, just mm. to be clear, yeah. I'm. If, They're just in search of the truth. Having sex with dudes is not a, an issue. That's not an issue that I no, have. They just for the want record. the truth. <laughs> yeah. Or you don't have an issue with the crack either. Frankly, yeah, or the crack. Right. Maybe, maybe I you honestly had hope this happens. Sounds like you're looking for <laughs> Maybe you had sex with Obama. You smoke crack, dude. Yeah, I did Obama smoke there? crack once. Was I got he her... there? Wait, he was there. Now <laughs> dude, you had sex with Obama and you <laughs> smoked crack? Oh, no wait, way, How many dude. times? Wait, hold on. I think it was twice. <gasps> you let Obama hit? I just That's remember. That's insane. No. Whoa. Whoa. You really kept that part of the wait, story. I just remember my hand on his thigh. Right. That's how it happened. This sounds real. What was he like on crack? Incredible. So, so here's the full interview. The full one dropped. Okay, I'll be happy to report right now that at least it didn't get that many views on YouTube. Well, this is a re-up, yeah. So, where's the main one on Twitter? It's on Twitter, yeah. Let me see what this moron got view-wise. Although it's so inflated on Twitter, who knows? Yeah, it doesn't show views anymore on Twitter. You can't oh. actually see. All you see is impressions, which means nothing. So it has 180,000 likes on Twitter. That's a lot. It says 33 million views, but that's bullshit. It's not views, it's impressions. Impressions. Yeah. Yeah. And impressions is like, in my experience, it's got to be like a hundred times more than the views, maybe even more. That could be, like three million. Anytime it yeah. just appears on your timeline, because somebody else retweeted it or replied to it or Or I guess that would be whatever. ten times. I remember looking at um, the impressions to views back when they were different. And I'm, it's, it's a huge, huge difference. Yeah. But based on the amount of likes, it's a lot. Sure. I mean, what's the average click-through rate on YouTube? Because we know that, right? The average click-through rate? I mean, it varies a bit, but like, let's say 2 to 5%, probably, right? Right, so I would guess it's something similar on Twitter. You could probably take 2 5 to 5%. Probably even less on Twitter because it's so transient. So what's 2% of 33 million? 5% means everything. Uh, what was the total? Th 33, 33 million? Yeah, like 600,000? 33 million? 33 million? 2%? 600,000? Yeah, rough 660,000. So that makes sense to me. Yeah. That, that's not a lot of views. Right? Yeah. Is, who's paying him for this dumb shit? I think theoretically. Self-fund? <laughs> I... I don't know if it's ever been confirmed, but I thought it was implied that Twitter is paying. <laughs> this what? Is fucking, dude, this is such good content, Elon. Elon's, Twitter? Yeah. Elon's always retweeting this shit, too. No. He's uh, always retweeting Tucker on X. So, yeah, I think they... Oh, can... it's like with X. It's yeah. got X in the... Yeah. Oh, my yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> so, what should we do? Should I... Is wow. There certain parts I should skip to? What, how you guys... Yeah, I had a couple timestamps. All right, let's see. That just really hurt my brain right now. Here he's talking about the gay crack accusations. This is uh, the the good part, you might say. So Twitter Twitter is co-signing this. They are, and paying wow. for it actually even more than co-signing it. Elon Musk specifically, I would say. Oh One of the most interesting God. moments in the 2008 campaign occurred when a man like Obama himself sure? came from out of nowhere to recount his experiences with Barack Obama, the man. His name was Larry Sinclair. Larry! He told an amazing story. He said that in 1999, he had encountered Barack Obama in Illinois, had sex with Barack Obama, and then used cocaine with him. Sinclair went on to make these claims publicly at a, the National Press Club in Washington, to sign a sworn affidavit, and to take a lie detector test. But he was dismissed. Okay, in pause. Fact, he was Very important detail here that people have pointed out. Uh, and this, this just shows what a fucking worm Tucker Carlson is. Mm -hmm. What he just said, he signed a sworn affidavit, and he even took a lie detector test. That story is well known. He took a lie detector test and failed it. 
Nah. So at this point, really, I yes. Like, ah. I feel true. like this wades into defamation territory. Right. right. He just the way that he phrases that, yeah, just like imply, like, oh, he took a lie detector test. He must have passed that. Yeah. No, he failed the lie detector. Wow. <laughs> because if I can get sued <laughs> for reading the headline of a Variety article, yeah, totally. <laughs> then I would say that Tucker's got some liability here. Yeah. Yep. He failed. Let me go back and hear him. Yeah, when I hear that again, yeah. affidavit and to take a lie detector test. We had a, the National Press Club in Washington to sign a sworn affidavit and to take a lie detector God damn it. test. But he was dismissed. Why was wow. he dismissed? Why was man? he dismissed? Why was he dismissed? Why? Uh, oh. Ugh, that is the fucking best. In February 2008, he was offered $100,000 to pass a polygraph test by a website regarding his claims. While he took up the offer, the website said the results of the test showed that he indicated deception. <laughs> well, that's okay. nice paycheck. He went. He went to the wrong guy. <laughs> he yeah, he should have gone to the that's yeah. true guy. I had sex with Obama and smoked crack with him. That's true. <laughs> he got paid a hundred thousand to. No, do no, that? no. If he could pass. Oh, if he could pass. Which that whole setup is okay. pretty silly. Yeah. God this guy says liars, it's. And I hate liars. This guy says it's true. <laughs> <laughs> And he is legit as it gets, my friends. <laughs> um, Sinclair then accused an advisor of Obama of rigging the test by bribing the examiner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, he, please, God, please, somebody sue Tucker for this. <laughs> Obama, just, you gotta do it. And Twitter, too, you know what I mean? Like, they're paying for this. Maybe. Uh, that Again, that hasn't been confirmed, but I thought it was, like, kind of implied. Cause, because it's just so slimy. It's he's so wormy. He's exclusive to Twitter. They always like, yeah. emphasize that. Tucker which, on X. Well, t yeah. I don't think Tucker's working for free. That's why I think it's reasonable to infer yeah. that he's being paid something. Ugh. I mean, this is just unreal. <laughs> the deception. The dis it's just, it's unreal, man. Tucker. What was he what? thinking with this? <laughs> Um, here, let's listen. In fact, he was attacked. Obama shills like Ben Smith of Politico batted the claims out without refuting them. They're absurd. And the rest of the media followed suit. But the claims weren't absurd. There's no way Tucker believes what a word this guy is saying. No shot. We're not claiming they're true. Of course not. But they were certainly credible. This was a I'm not saying they're true, but they were certainly said. <laughs> so a person said it. <laughs> First hand. I'm trying to find if he's actually Obama's like behavior by someone sponsored by them, but it looks like um, he's not. From what I'm seeing, that Elon Musk said Twitter did not sign an agreement with Carlson for his new show. Mm. So he's just like presenting himself as part of X. I saw Elon say something about it too. I thought. So, I'm, but may, but. Yeah. It was vague, so I mean, look at look into that. Be right. Uh, yeah, watching. I've been look. Yeah, it's it's not clear. I mean, I saw what Elo read as well. Mm. Either but, or, it's promoted heavily. Yeah, by yeah, it's weird it's definitely Elon's supported by Elon. And he's mm. using like the X logo and everything too. Yeah, so. Tucker on X. Wait, what? Yeah, You're that's right. yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's like what. Oh it's come called. on, that's that. Yeah. There's a business dealing going on here. Yeah, it seems like it. X. Yeah. All right. When who's willing to sworn sign a sworn affidavit to that effect? So the question is, whatever he happened? signed a sworn affidavit. Yeah, it's like, yo, what? It's Larry Sinclair. What's his life been like since? That's an interesting story. It sure turns it out Larry Sinclair is still alive. He lives oh, in Mexico. Okay, but today he's in our studio, and we're happy. Isn't to that have weird him. thing Larry to Sinclair, say? So yeah, much. I don't know why. Why would he? Why do we think he's dead? <laughs> yeah. Was did Obama kill him? What <laughs> turns happened? Out, right. Is that the implication? Like, oh, Obama didn't have him off. Or talking. Like, yeah, I'm not sure. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, where did you meet Barack Obama? Uh, it was by accident. I was in the Chicago area in 99 for Lee Duke's graduation from the Naval Academy. Who's Lee Duke? Oh, He's the Navy. It's all adding up. Son. Okay. Um, <laughs> I had hired a limousine did, service. I'm sorry to interrupt. Did you live in Chicago then? No. No, I was actually living in Colorado. I had flown in the night before. Okay. So, um, I had hired a limousine service, had made it the driver aware that if Lee couldn't leave the base, because once they graduate, some of them actually get their assignments and they're shipping out, 
and they can't leave the base, that I was still interested in going out and had asked the driver if he knew anybody that was available that might want to show me. Right, let me fast forward. This guy's boring. <laughs> um, here's where the guest is introduced. Politico noting that his, this guy who's talking, his criminal record spans nearly three decades. They report that Sinclair has a specialty in crimes involving deceit. The record includes forgery charges in two states, one of <laughs> which drew him a 16-year jail sentence. <laughs> when did he have sex time to have sex with Obama right after he got out of jail I guess 16 years in prison in 1986 Sinclair was charged with check fraud and credit card charges in Colorado he was uh, also he wasn't a model prisoner in, t in prison he was dis disciplined nearly 100 times for s slew of infractions from assault intimidation and drug possession Sinclair is known to have 13 aliases in Colorado, what? including Lair, Vizcara, Avila, and Mohammed Gahananan. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell Sorry, me? what? This guy picked an alias Mohammed Gahanahan. <laughs> well, Upset. with 13 aliases, it gets harder and harder. <laughs> yeah. to keep track. So I know this guy's whole life is a lie, but I believe every word he says about Obama. Yeah, he took a I lie agree. detector, bro. <laughs> Well, I that think that story specifically that just sounds so real. He took a lie detector and signed a sworn affidavit. Yeah. You actually, he's and you, he's I, never lied on documents before. <laughs> and I think you, well, and I think you um, skipped this line, but he was also convicted of theft and forging checks in Florida separately from all the other charges in Colorado. Oh, so he has lied on documents. Yeah, here, yeah. here you is... You often hear people say the news is full of Here what? is Elon on Tucker's We're Back tweet. He said... On this platform, unlike the one-way street of broadcast, people are able to interact, critique, and refute whatever is said. Bitch, you know what the fucking media is? That's literally... You're such a moron. <sighs> Elon invented conversations. Hell yeah. Also, I want to be clear that we have not signed a deal of any kind whatsoever. T Tucker is subject to the same rules. Okay, Rewards I mean, that's mean a definitive statement. Mm -hmm. Rewards mean subscriptions and advertising revenue share. Which is a function of how many people subscribe and the advertisers, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Whatever. Which is just kind of desperate on Tucker's side to do Tucker on it. Looks really pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, uh, back to his rap sheet. He was, uh, in 2004, he was trying to get a warrant dismissed in a sworn affidavit claimed he was termini terminally ill. Wait, no, he... No, 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 this can't be right. He's, he signed a sworn affidavit that he had Ill. sex with Obama and smoked crack with him. He's terminally ill uh, like he's, 20 years ago. He's, his prognosis he's has done big quite... I'm terminally ill too. Well, no, no. I'm gonna die of old age. No, that's why Tucker said he's still alive, because he is terminally ill. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, maybe that's why he was clarifying. But in a sworn affidavit. Right. Nobody would. It's awesome. <laughs> All right, here they start talking about the sexual encounter, which is the good part. Let's go. What point? Um, so you start rubbing his leg, and he's, I mean. I, yeah, get, <laughs> let's get to the details. Uh, at, at what point? Um, so you start rubbing his leg, and he's, I mean, I, I, I think, I would be totally blunt with you. Like, he lost his words. A man who's not into gay sex would be like, whoa, 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 whoa settle, settle down. down. Trust me, if it was something that you were not interested in, yeah. Uh, and you're right. I've had guys that uh, I read wrong that would literally try to break your hand. For uh, sure. If, if you went for sure. That wrong. So it, it's not like this was something that he wait. wasn't into. Looks oh, like his wait. hands were broke. Yeah, he's wearing cats. <laughs> what? <the fuck? laughs> what? Wait. I just You're noticed like, that. What happened last night? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from personal experience. Why I just thought he had carpal tunnel. <laughs> oh, come on. That's so on the nose. <laughs> Wait, also they, they have branded mugs, Tucker on X. Oh my oh, god. He's committed. So he's committed. <laughs> There's no shot. He's like, oh. trust me, people have bit the shit out of me yeah. just last night. Yeah. <laughs> Some people they broke it's not both something hands. that he was shocked by. <laughs> yeah. uh, shocked That's by crazy. you don't get excited and you don't unbutton your pants and you don't just sit there and let it happen. Yeah. So it wasn't. It definitely wasn't Barack's first time. Uh, that much I'm I'm absolutely certain of. 
and I would almost Let's be willing to bet you it wasn't as last. This man is a oh prolific criminal liar. I'm yeah. saying Obama's ran through. Like basically, you could you could say basically <laughs> that his profession, in one word, is deceit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's kind of sums up his criminal uh, history. And here is Tucker, our <laughs> dear dear friend, <laughs> whose profession is deceit. Right. <laughs> Birds of a feather. It's just that he just wants to get to the bottom of the truth. Right. This man so is bad. An Thank God that we have these venues for real. Yeah. yeah. We can have conversations. Yeah. You know, uh, somewhere where we can engage. Because this is not one sided. <laughs> no. Dick, too. So, um, so you performed oral sex on Barack I did. Obama. How was that? Um, and how big was his load, would you say? He almost got to the point of asking. Not kidding. Give me more details. What Was her ball saggy or firm, would you say? <laughs> in, in the driver's up front? Yep. And he's cool with us. The driver has the partition up. He didn't have a problem with it. He didn't put it down for any reason. I mean, he kind of set up the whole thing for this in the first place. He, exactly. And I have a funny feeling exactly. he had no uh, bones to pick with it as far as what took place. In yeah. It. What is the um, story that so this guy had just rented a limo uh, to do this? Yeah. Like, <laughs> this is such like fan was, fiction, dude. I just got out of the Navy. I was super rich and everyone and handsome and everyone loved me and I was in my limo. I had just cleared a forged check for 50 G's. I was feeling good. <laughs> Afterwards, I actually went back to my hotel. I had specifically asked that he drop Barack off first, but for some reason he and Barack chose that they would drop me off at the hotel first and then he would take Barack. So Barack oh, because Barack made wanted to, to drive fuck the limo driver too. Oh, dog. Yeah, oh. he wasn't done that night. No, wasn't no, done. No, hold on, hold on. Out to Gurney, <laughs> which is a suburb outside of Chicago. Look how look at that. God, this is good <laughs> shit. Yeah, he's really thinking hard. I'm so glad you concentrated, left Fox News, man, for this. It's really good shit. <laughs> you know, he put it, on a suit for this. He did. <laughs> and a tie. You know, this really shows, because he had handlers at Fox, and they don't—they would never let him run this story. <laughs> no. It's too trashy for even them. It really shows how intentionally dishonest. Like, he is just a straight-up liar. Mm. And, like, there's no better picture of how bad faith he is than this. Yeah. I mean, he brought on a serial criminal who lied a, who failed a lie detector test, to come tell his old story. This is a trashy tabloid story from 2008. Yeah. The way that he mentioned the lie detector, but not the failing of it. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's brazen. Brazen. Dude, he took one. I mean, <laughs> at least ignore it. Don't even bring it up. Yeah. <laughs> so brazen. So cynical. Um, to the hotel for me to be dropped off. What hotel was it? It was the Comfort Inn in Gurney. Ooh, that sounds depressing. It was. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> That's like the most passionate he's been so far. <laughs> Comfort in? You guys stayed there? And how much was the room? It was about 19 a night. What? <laughs> oh my god. Well, Did I guess I... you guys had to save money for craft. I swear he's trolling. So Rolling up to the Comfort Inn in a limo. <laughs> uh huh, like they do. Like we do over there. Comfort Inn. Bro. They got the room. <laughs> Limos rolling in all the time. The bellboy helped us with our luggage. Oh, you have to remember it was 99. Yeah, no, <laughs> and it was close to the Great Plain, Great Lakes Naval facilities. Yeah. But um, I got dropped off. They left. Uh, the next day was somewhat interesting because he ends up showing up at my hotel room, which oh, I thought was stalker. Somewhat weird. I love this. It was <laughs> weird, you know? It was weird at the guy who just gave him a blowjob in a limousine on the way home, casually, was like, he was weirding me out. Mm. But he wanted some more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you say he Hell showed yeah, he up, did. he just he wants he showed more. up. I mean, Hell yeah, he I did. had no warning. Thirsty. I was in the room. There's a knock on the door. He wants more. He wants a I relationship. The door and was he naked in some kind of robe, perhaps? And he's standing there with more coke. And he comes in. <laughs> he's standing there 
at the door with more coke. Just a bag of coke. Fuck yeah. Let's go. Let's party. Like Santa Claus. And he was weirded out by that? <laughs> That's party time, boy. And it was just like a quick, you know, rehash or rerun from the night before. Exact same program. Exact same program. Was he smoking again? Yep. So Barack Obama smokes crack and then you perform <laughs> yeah. sex on him. Oh, and the, like I said, the only reason I had come out in about it is I had reached out to the campaign even in 2007, only because I saw all these kids getting excited about it. Okay, wait, just, I, I just, so how did that end? Like Same way. So he came in my mouth. You <laughs> get off, you finish smoking, you leave. Oh, so during the presidential campaign, it also happened, he's saying. No, 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 no. That's not what he said. He said, I reached out to the campaign in 2000. Okay. He, he was starting to and trail off onto another part yeah. of the story. I guess smoke and crack a lot will uh, <laughs> scramble your like, brains a bit. Bye. <laughs> and I'm talking about myself, of course. Right. Huh. What did you think of him? I thought he was interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I thought he was definitely a con. But what do you mean by that? Well, Aww. in my life at that point, you had, you you made it clear I had already been around. Yeah, big time. Yeah, big time. I've been around big time. Mm -hmm. So you know when people are doing things because they actually really enjoy it, or they're sincere, or they're looking, you know, for yeah. a connection, or they're doing something because they're looking for an in, or they're looking for an a hook, in. or it's a game. Yeah. Uh, what? So for me, I felt that it was a game for him. It, this, to get what? What? Out of you. I do not follow. <laughs> You're the dude that sucked him off in the car ride on to the hotel. What the fuck? You... What? It was like, okay, what am I going to get out of it? Or is there something I can get out of it other than just crack? You know, the I mean, he brought crack. That's a pretty good And yeah. Vice President. lucky for me, yeah. I wasn't going back to Chicago anytime soon, so it really didn't matter. So you were left with a bad taste in your mouth. <laughs> something. <laughs> yeah. Dude, yeah. this whole interview, Tucker is definitely in. visualizing him sucking off Obama. He's yeah. hard. <laughs> He's got it picture perfect in his brain. He's hard under the desk. Uh, oh yeah. No question about it. With a bad taste in your mouth. What, 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 what did it taste like? <laughs> Wait, what does he taste like? What do you taste like? You gotta tell me. You gotta tell me. So you were left with a bad taste in your mouth. He did not say that. There's no way he's <laughs> not trolling. Semen yeah. tastes good. What's his semen more viscous or <laughs> watery, would you say? <laughs> Was it more of like a cream color or more yellowish? Mm hmm Could you pick, could you please draw a picture of his cock? Mm. That would be helpful. <laughs> Something. Yeah. 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 This man literally said it left a bad taste in your mouth. And nobody smiled. <laughs> um, did you talk to him again? I did not. In fact, I... And did you have any idea? Even though you had sex with him twice, you did cocaine with him, watched him smoke crack twice, you had no idea who he was. I had no idea who he was until I'm sitting in my house in Tequala, Nagate, Mexico in 2004. <laughs> and I was on the run from the law, probably true, in Mexico, 100%. for forging checks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so he didn't, he didn't even know it was Obama at the time? Yeah, I mean, no, he, that's his He story. was high all the time, so <laughs> could right. there be a potential... Maybe he's just a, some identity? random guy. <laughs> no. That's a, that's a fair question. <laughs> yeah. uh, it, should, yeah. it should be noted, too, he was a senator at the time, too. He was a senator <laughs> of Illinois. Right. <laughs> so that's a pretty high profile. Wait, in 1999? Yeah. No, he wasn't. Oh, was he a representative? It, yeah, I, don't, I think this is pre-politics in, in 1999. Okay, so it it checks be, out. No, because no, later he was, when he came out about the story, this he was, was the crack but, days. Yeah, no, he was a senator in, from '97 to. This was Obama's crack arc. Oh, uh, <laughs> a, a state senator. Yeah, right. Okay, I'm sorry. Yeah, state senator in Illinois. Also, <laughs> crack days then. <laughs> 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 Left a bad taste in my mouth. He walked on that stage in Boston in the DNC convention, and I literally hit the floor.
I just hit the floor and was... Wait, so you're watching the Democratic convention from Mexico? I was Why laughing. Why were you in Mexico? I smoke crack in your... I don't know. In with you. But this is beauty. I was <laughs> laughing so hard. Oh, he's sure so beautiful. Was, I the way was he absolutely moves. positive. The way he moves, the way he moves. <laughs> Wow. I don't forget people I've met. I don't forget people sure. I have spent time with. Sure. That's a great quality. That adds up. And just to just to restate, because I think you affirmed this, but um, he used his real name. When you yes. Yeah. He called himself wow. Barack or Barry? Barack. Barack. Mm-hmm. And so did the driver. So he, he said, I'm Barack. So because Barry is his name. By the way, uh, Vince Staples had the funniest tweet. Did you see it? About planting no. crack, I did see that actually. No, about Tucker. He said, "I hope Barry drones this." Oh, <laughs> yeah, I just saw that one too. Drones. But there was another one because that was what Obama was known for: is droning people. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. I hope Barry drones this, dude. Oh, that's the best. Funny, very funny. You got another one for me, Dan? Ooh, there was just another one where. Uh... <laughs> yeah, right here. I mean, y'all focus on the wrong thing. He tried to put the crack rock on Obama. That's top tier <laughs> smut. <laughs> like police planting crack on people when they're arresting them. Mm-hmm. Gotta have them ribs. <laughs> Gotta have them dick. <laughs> and dick too. <laughs> dick too. <laughs> and that's why at first when everybody was referring to him as Barry, I just didn't understand or, or, or catch on. Because, like I said, I didn't know that much about him. <laughs> Tucker, <laughs> you know how dumb this is. Uh, you know. Right. He totally knows. You know, dude. He's like a giddy baby. <laughs> Why are you doing this with your life, man? That's so <laughs> embarrassing. Like, just, you know. Does he have kids? I mean, does he have something to do other than this? Maybe he just doesn't have anything going. And this is just... He just wants attention, probably. He's... He probably is very starved for attention because he was the biggest guy in news and now That's he's true. just a total nobody. Yeah. This is exclusive. Do you understand? Literally anybody could get this guy on the show probably. <laughs> yeah. Nobody thought to ask. That's the genius. <laughs> <laughs> we all thought he was dead. Yeah. Other than the fact that, <laughs> hey, you know, y- you, you hook up you know, Tucker has today. four kids. Go, go, brother. <laughs> you know, God bless him, man. Not this. It's grinder. Back then it was, you know. The limo driver. Limo, yeah. Limos. A limo driver or a bartender. No shot. You right. think gay dudes just would find limos to hook up in instead right. of grinder? Yeah, that I mean, sounds maybe, like I don't know. Reality. What does that mean, though? How do you just find limos and... Find dudes to have sex with in them? <laughs> just, yeah, I don't Maybe know. Maybe an app for it now, I don't know. Also, like, no, you don't get to know who's in it. You just go for it. You know? Yeah, no. You ask, and somebody knows somebody, or somebody doesn't. He cannot believe what he's hearing. All right, so let's see. What else we got here? Um, At this point, Tucker's, we got that. Starts talking about crack and how Obama's done it before. We got that. Let's see, when he failed a lie detector, he's been public with the story in two, since the 2000 when he failed a lie detector test. He was all over the tabloids. He even did a press conference at the time. Here he is, you know, shot. Here is Larry at a press conference in 2008 where he comments on Barack Obama's penis size. What made Tucker think, like, let's do this again? Let's bring this guy back. Oh, that's him back so, then? Yeah. What's he Whoa. doing a press conference? <laughs> he kind of looks like Cab Cab. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, here. If here, now I know. If Cab Cab wasn't a Nepo baby, this is where he'd be. <laughs> <laughs> now I know. Now I know the answer. <laughs> You well hung? Actually, I've always I've referred to that quite you know what I'm gonna answer the question the same way I always have. Barack Obama is a wannabe black man with a white boys, and that's where I'll leave it. Oh my Why? god. <laughs> god. <laughs> I that cannot be real. <laughs> I love that he's gatekeep this guy's gatekeeping blackness. Yeah. 
God. Like, he's a wannabe black dude. Take it from me, Larry <laughs> Sinclair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, here is, he ran for mayor of a town in Florida a few years back. Oh yeah. My God. I was one of those like weirdo crackhead uh, candidates that. Gay yeah. man who said he had <laughs> sex with Obama is running for mayor of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it's probably refreshing for him to be taken seriously for the first time in his life by this big, by the biggest newsman in America. Uh, Larry, see, they actually <laughs> they gave better context here. Larry Sinclair, a convicted felon <laughs> right. who has claimed he had gay sex with, with President Barack Obama, is running to be mayor. <laughs> Larry gave a speech at the National Press Club in 2008 while Obama was running for president, alleging that the then Senator Obama brought and smoked cocaine. And had gay sex with him. Shame. Sinclair, who has served prison time in Arizona, Florida, and Colorado. <laughs> Yo, that's a hat trick. How many people can say they served prison in three, three different states? states. All right, let's go. For forgery, fraud, and larceny, is now campaigning to win the mayor's seat in Coco, a town of around 19,000. Did he win? He did not. Damn. He did not. Uh, this is the real catch me if you can, you know. <laughs> Here he is. Oh yeah, that's where I got the photo. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Tucker is so <laughs> fucking out of pocket for this. This is so so It, it, so it looks out like of the control. the Milady meme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for sure. Obama. <laughs> Mabama. 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 This is so. I said when he was leaving the limo. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, just so 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 insane. <laughs> Um, so that's, I guess that's the story. Oh, yeah, that's it. I mean, there's, the video's about 45 minutes long. After a while, they just get into a circle jerk about how shitty he, he the circle jerk. the president is. I got I the know. good stuff. Yeah. I don't know if you, you, you got the, you got the gist. Dick two. Uh, uh, what did, what, what? Oh, you, Elon said, of course, the probability his claims are true would it rest on objective evidence rather than claims made by someone with a dubious history. Huh. Yeah, I also saw this one. Dave Port Portnoy was uh, had interesting oh, insight because well, Portnoy went on Tucker's show a couple weeks ago, and I guess they film like they well, mass film. I, I think they filmed it on the same day. Really? So Dave says he met this guy. Huh. He said I met Larry Sinclair when I was doing my Tucker thing a couple weeks ago. I would trust Anna Del Delvey. Delvey before I trusted anything Larry Sinclair said. I'm assuming that's the the lady who wrote the article about him. No, no, no. She's, Anna Delvey. She's the one who like um. Defrauded her friends. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. Like, I know her. I yeah. know her. Famous con woman. Yeah. So uh, let's see. I would trust her before I trusted anything Larry had to say. Top to bottom, maybe the least trustworthy human I've ever <laughs> laid eyes on. I'd say this story has zero percent chance of being true, and that's generous. <laughs> real sees real, Dave. <gasps> right. That's coming. What were you? What are you doing, Tucker? <laughs> How can he do this? There has to be consequences. So I feel like zero people are buying this. No like one is buying this. Yeah. yeah. But it's getting so much like retweeting and stuff. <laughs> well, yeah. Like I mean, a joke. A, the you all the usual suspects, I'm sure, are buying it. But like, e not even like, I, I haven't seen, but I have to imagine uh, Ben Shapiro. Like people like that are like, this is stupid. You know what I mean? Look it up. Like maybe maybe, covering it. maybe Crowder, maybe Crowder would take the bait on this. Uh -huh. I'd, say, that, I'd say I'd say even skeptical that Crowder would buy into this. That's like how I low think there is. are old people that could potentially be like, oh, Tucker said it, it must be true. <laughs> Maybe. I'm checking Shapiro right now. Let's see. Yeah, I want to know if anyone it. covered it. Yeah. Tim Pool. Tim Drool. Tim Pool seems like the type of dude that would buy into this. Uh, here is uh, this guy. Oh, folks. He has a video called "This Guy Claims He Had Sex with Obama." Is he credible? Oh, this is Shapiro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, let's uh, see. I'm not surprised he commented. I'm just saying I, I have a feeling. He With is. Barack Obama back in Barack Obama's state house days in Illinois. Now, that's not uncredible. It huh? isn't. Barack Obama in his own memoirs talks about how he did a little blow. So clearly the guy's familiar with drugs. Barack huh? Obama wrote to a he said he smoked We now know once? that he regularly, like every day, had fantasies about having sex with men. And that is not conjecture. That Wait, is something what? Barack Obama wrote in his own hand to a girlfriend, which, by the way, is a weird thing to say to your girlfriend. In any case, okay, it's not a non-credible story. 
Okay. So the media at the time went after Larry Sinclair. They pointed out that he had a history of Larry. criminality back in the 1980s. So far. Kind of and then they just like ignored it. the story. Now, <laughs> let me point out that if Barack Obama had been a Republican candidate for office, this would have been front page story all the time. He, he is Never so mind. pathetic. <clears throat> this man is defending. I'm sure he probably goes on to say. Larry. But, but he's already he, doing too he's much. He's hedging it. Yeah, he's hedging it big time. Dick two. <laughs> what, dude? Come on, man. Wow. Ben Shapiro, huh? Larry Sinclair. We should get him to call in. Yo, let's reach out to Larry. You want to talk to Larry? I have some questions for my boy. And I'm sure he'd come on if we offered to pay him. I'll oh. be like, yeah, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you call in. <laughs> reach out to Larry. Yep, yep, this is my dream. I need to talk to Larry. <laughs> if you give him a hundred bucks more, he'll accuse like, Tucker of the same thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I give you 200, will you say the exact opposite? <laughs> yeah. I need him to know I believe him. <laughs> I got to talk to my boy Larry. He'll be like, oh yeah, we cra we smoked crack in the studio, then had some sex. He was giving me yeah. a hand job under the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. With his feet <laughs> during the yep. interview. It was super weird. <laughs> Dude, I could boys. have so much fun talking to Larry. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Good friend of mine told me in a political disagreement this week that Obama is gay crackhead who killed his personal chef, uh, <laughs> then brought up Michelle. Nice. Okay. Obama wrote him out. that he was attracted to men because he was trying to impress bi girls when he was in college. Yeah, that was my... <laughs> I, I don't remember the story well enough, but I, I, I did remember having that thought that we, yeah. seems... He was 21, he was in college, and he wrote it to an ex-girlfriend. And he said something along the lines of, I make love to men daily, but in imagination. It Therefore, vis-a-vis, -vis, <laughs> Larry's telling the truth. It's all right there. I have another one. If you want. The dots connect. All right, what else we got? Um, what was the other one in the headline? The other headline is Logan. All right, great. Let's do that. These are all good stories. Man, it's going to be a while since we see another story like that. That's really just gay, the, gay scoop, the scoop of a lifetime. <laughs> so good. Please, we need Larry. I need him. <laughs> Don't you worry. It's important to me. It's a paid gig. Whatever he needs. Absolutely. <laughs> um, so I'm chewing a little bit here. You don't say. So Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis. So they're fighting. Okay. And here I am talking about it, so I guess to an extent. They got you. It's a KSI... Fighting someone and Logan Paul fighting someone. Okay. Okay. And so Dylan Dennis, is he an ex MMA player that, or fighter? That's what it is? Yeah. And are they doing an MMA fight or boxing? It's just boxing. Boxing. Stupid. Uh, so he's fighting Dylan. The card, it's of course uh, sponsored by Steak, Kick, and Prime. <laughs> For a steak is just they they have so much money. They're just like, yeah, we don't care. We'll sponsor anything. They have uh, fifty million less, right? They didn't even notice. They didn't even care. Yeah. They practically even didn't care about it at all. Right. Somebody hacked steak and stole forty million, and apparently it was North Korea. Really? Let's really? Go. And now, Jushi gang. one of the owners was talking to Aiden on stream and telling him he needs to go to South Korea, North Korea and interview Kim Jong Un. <laughs> do what? it, Aiden. Why? This could be such good content, dude. You should uh, definitely Aiden do that. Aiden Ross. Aiden yeah. Ross, ex Kim Jong Un, oh the collab God. of a lifetime. The collab yeah. of a lifetime, please, Aiden. <laughs> or AB just sent it. it. Which makes me very. Uh, <sighs> So I know it sounds like a when I heard this the first time, I didn't know the context that they were just hacked by North Korea. Is this if they like, have demands for them? Because no, I think yes. I don't think they're serious here. He sounds okay. Look, l l l l l l I, I know it sounds like I'm kind of like low key fucking around, but I swear to God, like going to North Korea and like live streaming it and like giving them the chance to kind of show their world off and let's give them a chance to hear their side of the story. <laughs> <you know? laughs> that. Would be incredible content. 
and, and I would love to see Aiden wind up in a labor camp like that. Dude, <laughs> that would be what, such a happy ending. Dude, there's not story. there's not a non-zero chance that he goes to hard labor camp. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like there was a story recently of some kid that like stole a bathroom towel or something and they put him in hard labor and then delivered his like rotting bloated corpse back to America. What? Swear to God. Yeah, I, I vaguely remember. It was a oh it was a while God. ago now, right? It wasn't not like that long ago. ago, but but something tells me he's not going to be in the countryside interviewing peasants. <laughs> Kim Jong Un. No, they'll play Fortnite together or something. <laughs> if they return the money, I think I think this could happen. Let's let's give it a crack. Like, have a think about it. No pressure. I know you'll do it. All right, I got you, bro. I won't let you down. <laughs> I won't let you down. I don't know. You know what? I, I've decided that. You know what? Maybe I was born. What the hell? Twitter's born fucking here, literally video players. So I don't you that. Kim Jong Un, um, I'm with Eddie Man. You know what I'm saying? I would love to come to North Korea. I would love to step in foot of your uh, your your country. Kim Jong Un, you know if you're saying? watching, I would love to, uh, shout out. Have a nice <laughs> cup of lunch with you or some lunch with you. Uh, Mr. Kim Jong, I'd love to interview you. Okay, let me know. Uh, we can do that. I got you, Eddie. <laughs> yeah, that would be great. I think that would be a really important journalistic moment for mm -hmm. Aiden Ross to interview Kim Jong Un. Yeah. And then he can run for president. Aiden? Yeah. Oh, wow. He, maybe yes. maybe uh, Dennis Rodman will be there. That would be cool. <laughs> so anyway, unrelated, but moving on. So, the shit uh, talking started imme immediately. Okay. And by all accounts, this dude, Dylan Dennis, seems like a real psycho. That being said, it couldn't happen to a worse guy. Uh, so here is their first press conference and uh, Dylan goes immediately for the uh, he goes in my opinion the right stuff and this is the stuff you should be saying to Logan Paul yeah. no wonder you friends with Conor McGregor where is he by the way where's coach McGregor and why would he take worry, my bet he'll be here and he'll smack why would he take my million dollar bet why oh why god his necklace says prime I'm working on it Dylan he said why won't you pay back the people from Cryptozil oh, okay I remember this clip yeah it was good and yeah. he Actually, this one's too short because he starts fumbling trying to explain. Yeah. Like, I'm working on it, bro. I'm working on it. <laughs> I think the we have watched over. this one. We watched this already? Don't worry, he'll be here and he'll smack Why won't he take you. my million dollar bet? Why won't you pay back to people from CryptoZoo? <laughs> I'm working on it, Dylan. You You're working on I'm it, I'm huh? working on it. While he's wearing a blinged out prime necklace. It should also be noted, though, that Dylan Dennis has been called out by CoffeeZilla for scamming his fans, too. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Beautiful. Oops. So, Dylan, oh, actually, there's a community note about it, which is pretty funny. Um, For what you said. Bro, uh, you guarantee a win? I'll bet you a million dollars I beat Dildo Dennis. Really? That's the best you got? On October 14th, <laughs> uh, Dylan said, Bro has the money to bet one million, but can't pay off the people he scammed. That's crazy. And then the the, the oh. community note says Dylan Dennis has also scammed his own <laughs> audience on several occasions oh and was God. exposed by CoffeeZilla, the <laughs> same person who exposed oh, wow. Logan Paul. That's so funny. Well, I'll say this about Great Dylan. Great people. I don't wrong. think Dylan Dennis is putting himself forward as a good guy. Whatever that makes a I difference. Don't know. Because Logan's he wants to be like the good guy. He wants to be the maverick. I don't know. I don't think it matters either okay. way. Let me tell right. you about banana. I'm just trying to support Dylan for no reason. Because <laughs> I hate Logan. Uh, uh, here's a link to like the I video lost. coffee made on Dylan. Alright, let's take a look. Let's take a Gamers. look. He writes in a tweet, damn, Logan Paul is a scumbag. Feel bad for everyone he scammed. Now, of course. I was gonna really disagree with this, so the likes rolled in. But what Dylan doesn't tell you is he also has a history of scamming people on Twitter. And what Dylan didn't know is that there was a detective watching him. That detective was not me, actually. I wish it was me. It was my buddy Zach XBT on Twitter who said, damn, Dylan Dennis is a scumbag. Feel bad for everyone he scammed. And then Zach showed some tweets of Dylan promoting obvious scams, which then rug pulled. <laughs> now, I was gonna kind of leave that, right. that. That to me looked like this typical influencer shit where they're like, I'll yeah. pay you $20,000 to link this obvious scam. Yeah. And a lot of people did that. A lot of people did that. I don't know that he was on the inside, which in my opinion is a lot worse. a work. different level of involvement. Yeah. Being on the inside is a lot worse than just then, taking some some deal to post like, 
And by the way, this link is like really dumb. Feel bad for everyone he scammed. And then Zach showed. Check out Squid Game 2.0 and it's a. That uh, tweets of Dylan I don't know what that is. obvious scams, which then rug pulled. Now, I was going to kind of leave it there, a little nice well, Twitter see, dump, maybe but more. it got me thinking. You know, deleted scam tweets are the internet equivalent of roaches in your house. In both cases, if you see more than... All right, whatever. He he also mm -hmm. did it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, here is They're Dylan... They're Marvel, though, for sure. Here's Dylan uh, wearing the same hat Logan wore in the Suicide Forest, which I think is pretty great. He started ah. wearing it to press conferences. That's pretty funny. Which is pretty good, I think, you know? Really not a bad idea. Pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, Dylan has been posting every... So this is where it gets a little dicey. He started posting every picture he can find of his fiance with other men from before they oh, met. that's so stupid. In an attempt to emasculate him. I don't like that. So this is... And he's really, really, really harassing her. Uh, he's done it over a hundred times, apparently. Um, here's a gallery. I guess she's she's dated a lot of famous men and good for her, you know what I mean? I'm sorry, it's uh, <clears throat> we wrote this up a while ago, it's 250 times now. Holy shit. Yeah. 250 times he brought her he post, up. Yeah, he posted yeah. about her. Ugh. It's so funny. That's like a full-time job, man. Yeah. It's disgusting. And whenever someone tries to defend her, I believe Corinna tried to defend her, and then he does the same thing to Corinna. Yeah. Like, bringing up her past and showing stuff. Um, so he obviously is a nasty womanizing freak. And it's really fucked up. But I feel like to the people that he's, um, you know, reaching out to, it works. Right. Like, look at the engagement. 90,000 likes. What? Yeah, he's some ass. Like, people are very... all about this. Oh, my God. 600 or 60,000. I mean, it's like, yeah, dude, she yeah, good for her. I mean, what the fuck? Let's see a picture of everyone you've ever dated, you know, or had sex with or spent a day with. Yeah. Did she do anything illegal? Did like, she, I don't know. So, Nick Cannon. I mean, so what? So she dated people. But now it's just pictures with them. Like, I, you know, it's all, it's, it's just random shit. <laughs> I mean, it's a picture with a guy? <laughs> yeah. That's so I mean, stupid. the implication, of course. But the, the harassment going on here is nuts, man. Yeah. You know, it got really bad and... This is not cool at all. To, to the point of allegedly sharing uh, revenge. Oh, he did that? Well, that's illegal. Yeah. yeah. That's... What? Yeah. Um, so... How did he even... Probably it's on the internet, you know what I mean? Mm, he shared it. Yeah. Uh, that's so gross. There's a video of a bunch of he posted. I mean, like, going after Logan was fine. Why go after her? And he has enough things, like the yeah. dead pets thing, the scamming, the suicide force, but he's a scumbag. <laughs> like, he's just like, a real dirty dude. And, and like, shit. It's crazy that it's working so well, because, like, people are spending rumors now that Logan's divorced or because calling Because people love off. to hate women. That's why. Yeah. No, I mean, that's, seriously, tape. that's it's why. A... Oh, she's a slut? Hell yeah. He, he How also, many people have you had sex with, bro? He also allegedly shared a video of a random girl. Uh, I believe it was performing oral sex that he claimed was Logan's ex, and it wasn't even her. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Got him. So he, I, you gotta mute. You gotta mute. Yeah. So it's like a mega compilation? I don't know. I was reading something that he has, like, mob ties or... I don't know if that's true or not. I think someone's dying over there. <laughs> it's just a Photoshop. It's not even real, bro. All right, whatever. Stupid. This is really dumb. So there that is. Uh, that's what he's been up to. So now um, his fiance is seeking damages, attorney's fees, and a restraining order against Dennis. This yeah, legal action I mean, it follows. Seems like actually, she should. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, yeah. This legal action follows weeks of Dennis making numerous crude posts about her, implying a sexual relationship through photoshopped images. She might have a case. That's the crazy part. Because like 150, 200 Two, times. Over 200. I mean, yeah. yeah. According to the lawsuit, what happened? Erase that line. Just erase. What happened? Somebody just erased a line here. Can you 
Control Z. Uh, I don't know. Control Z. According to the lawsuit, for the past five weeks, Dennis has posted daily on his Twitter and Instagram about uh, his girl, his fiance. I can't say her name. Agadol. Some of these posts include private content suggesting potential hacking or unauthorized access. The fuck? Oh, what? Yeah, it's believe people are saying that he hacked. Uh, Dude, that's, that's crazy. That's like straight up like this guy's insane. That's that's really intense, bro. That's really intense. So I feel like at this point, Logan should Call cancel the cancel the fight. But he's not. Right. He loves it. He doesn't care. I think he lo- if he cared about his fiance. Yeah. Right. I think that's a that's a fair that's consideration. The, I, that's the thing that I would expect. To, to prove that it's not a setup, too. Because and I think you would do that. Like, you would be like, this is insane. I'm calling yeah, the I'm whole not, thing off. I'm not trying to do anything with you. Why? I'm just saying, like, why Why now her life needs to be destroyed? She, isn't, she didn't sign up for the fight. So for Logan to continue with the fight, it's kind of crazy. What do you guys think? I, I would. I would, too. Because I don't want people to... I don't want to profit from this guy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But he doesn't. And they had a press conference recently. Can you pull up that video, by the way? Uh, It happened yesterday, I think. I saw it on Twitter. But that's a good point. What do you guys think? Should Logan cancel the fight if he's really... I mean, for safety purposes... It's his wife, right? Yeah, just like... If she has a restraining order against him... Is it worth the fight? Like, I know that some people are saying that Dylan is doing this because he knows that Logan will beat him or whatever, so he wants Logan to cancel, but even if that is the case... No. I mean... Like, being safe is way more important than being comfortable. Like, I don't think... I don't think that's what's happening. But, actually, I mean, this fight is getting insane coverage, and I I honestly think Logan loves it. That would make me really mad, I think. If my boyfriend loved it, or if my husband exactly. loved it. Exactly. But I don't think he's, I think he... If he thrived off the attention of me he, being miserable. So here is um, them meeting, I guess. Stuff. This happened, this was posted by Logan eight hours ago. I guess I should put it on the screen so you guys should see it. All right, let's see this. Let's see if I can play the unpause game here. This guy's like crossing the line this. of like banter before a fight. Oh, big time, big time. He so, went way, way, way too low. To me, the only conclusion here is to call off the fight. Well, let's see. Here they they met just yesterday. Then why am I? Well, two knee uh, knee surgery. It sounds like you have Conor McGregor's nuts sack in your mouth. Oh, this watch guy it. has retweet. Uh, watch his little tweets. Like, that's what I'm saying right there. Like yeah. watching you stumble your way through these sentences is is painful. That's fine. Yeah, agree. But they just want to. Hey, yeah, what's happening? He can't it. talk? I got better more- I said I got- uh... What's happening? Yo! I said, I said, get me. this man a glass of water! I said, I, you sent me so many messages. Then why am I- well, Wait, what? so there's a different clip, though. <laughs> this is obviously oh, one that's very- I don't know what that was. It's probably edited that since was, Logan. Yeah, it might have yeah, been edited. Probably. Um, I don't know what that was. But he's promoting the fight. That's what he's doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, promote it. And yeah. him and his brother, they that's they thrive on that. They promote this shit. They, you know, that's what they do. So, I do think, in a sense, he is kind of throwing his fiance uh, under the bus a little bit here, eh? But I guess she chose Logan, so <laughs> you know, there's that. There's that, that. That plays into it a little she bit. She knows what she's signing up for. You, I mean, I, I guess mean, the hopeful thinking would be not that they not have into like not being harassed. Yeah. I, what I mean is, to Logan wouldn't cancel a fight for her. I don't think. Right. I guess the hopeful thinking would be that they're having a conversation about it. Maybe she's like, it's it fine. Don't cancel it. Right. True. That True. would be maybe, a hopeful. Maybe, maybe she'll kick his that. ass. Yeah. True. Maybe. Although she, it sounds like she's going as far as to sue this guy, right? That's the other part. If she's getting a restraining order, that means she can't even be there during the fight. <laughs> right. <laughs> she can't be in the same building That's as him. That's true. Yeah. That, yeah. and that tells me she's not really down with this. Yeah. That's true. Can you find the other one? There was one that made Logan look kind of scared and weird that I saw on Twitter. Um, here's Jake. Also, dude, Prime is... But babe, Prime is, is, is sponsoring this uh, event. 
My thoughts on Logan Paul and Dan Dylan Dennis beef, says Jake. Everyone wants to know my thoughts on the Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis situation. Oh, yeah. And my thoughts are that y'all should download better and play better picks for NFL Week 1. We're giving away a Rolex right now to someone who downloads better and plays nice. better picks for NFL Week 1. Create a slip. All the details. These are guys the really don't give a wow. fuck about anything play. but making and money. Yeah. Woo! Logan Paul versus Dylan Dennis are. I mean, let's like they really don't care about anything but mm -hmm. making money. Remember, no. he did that one sponsor where you could win a hundred million mm -hmm. dollar house. Yeah. The crate giveaway. The loot box. Whatever. The loot box. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, they just don't fucking care. They both and Logan Paul's a prolific scammer too. I mean, prolific really. Can say that. Were you able to find the clip I was talking about? Mm. No, I'm looking. Oh, no. can you find that whole press conference? Like, what the fuck was that? That was pretty weird. Uh, furthermore, this action is said to be in violation of the 2022 Violence Against Women Act, reauthorized reauthorization in New Jersey invasion of privacy law. Dennis has claimed that his posts were meant to promote an upcoming fight, but has faced backlash for the content and its impact on Ag Agdal. Nina has been granted a temporary restraining order, so she got something. Yeah, this, that was uh, yesterday. As of Thursday, Dennis 30 is forbidden from posting content in any way depicting or portraying plaintiff that defendant knows or has reason to believe was never meant to be shared. Okay, so the court just says you can't Sharon, you can't, no more revenge five. porn. You had no more revenge porn, please. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. I'm looking for the clip too, and all I'm seeing is that clip of him stuttering. It's just like spammed all over Twitter, so. Yeah. Is, can you find the full, uh, conference? Yeah. Because I peek at that. Kind of curious. Here it is. I mean, even this is... Unbelievable. Two minutes. Unbelievable. It's already begun. God damn it. The clip I saw is when they first meet up, when Logan walks in and they see each other for the first time. Mm. Let's see. I this is from two weeks ago. What the hell? Yeah. I'm sitting here in the face-to-face, -face, waiting for Dylan Donuts to show up. Dylan Donuts? is nowhere to be seen. He has lodged himself in his room. He has lodged himself in his room. Dylan, have the panic attack started? Have you realized what you signed up for? Because this is real life, bro. No more. The prime, the prime mm -hmm. hackery is just unreal with these guys. Yeah. Like you will not catch them on screen without a prime in the shot. It's pretty wild. Keyboard warrior Twitter. I mean, they're so consistent with it. It's kind of impressive. He's in the hotel. He's in the hotel, and he's not showing up. Look, look, look. He's supposed to be right there. We can claim for this right shit. It's not worth it. Yeah, probably right. not. Probably not. All right. So that's that. I mean, it's Interesting. something. When is this fight scheduled to happen? I believe it's October. Oh, it's still a ways out, huh? <laughs> October. Yeah. Got more. A lot more of this. They got to huh? pace themselves, man. <laughs> yeah. We're all going to be burned out by then. Yeah, 14th of October. Jeez, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to remember that. any of this shit. <laughs> All right. There it is. There it is. That's pretty much it. We've said it all, people. Wow. We've said it all. We've done it all. Give it up. Thank you. Give it up. Think Doink is my favorite coin. <laughs> like, there's so much more he could do than the girlfriend thing. But, sadly, that's hitting harder than anything he's done. Which really Which says a lot about it. society. <coughs> oh, it's sad. I it's sad that that's the one thing that's like, oh. <laughs> Slam dunk. Mm -hmm. His girlfriend is a slut. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Uh, Actually, but here is Kate uh, is about to break the inter another interesting detail about him that kind of makes this all make sense about Dylan. He retweeted a Andrew Tate fan cam. <laughs> Andrew Tate X Dylan Dan. They're collabing. Finally. Once again, he announced his latest meetup that will destroy Logan fucking Paul. Tate meets Dylan fucking Dennis. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is this? Old, I bet. So fucking Wait, so where's stupid. the part where they meet? It's... I, 
think it's just an edited video, like a uh, fan, it's like double Tate. Fan. It's a trailer for them to meet. What? That's weird. Andrew fucking Tate. You you Tate heads are the weirdest bunch, man. Yeah. The gayest bunch. I have, I want to say that they're just obsessed with this man. Mm. He's shirtless all the time. Yep. He's flexing. They're obsessed Definitely with his looks body. Like they yeah. have a crush on him. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fan cam. Yeah. There it is. And there it is. We've said it all, folks. And that's Friday. That's Friday, baby. So, uh, we're gonna reach out to Larry. Larry! We're gonna make that happen. <laughs> Is he gonna come here in a limo? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll make sure him. he does. Let's get him, <laughs> let's get him <laughs> in a limo. We'll get him a limo. The pro- they, you gotta talk to him in Easy. a limo. Done. Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> if you want a dude to suck you off, that'll be... Uh, that's not included, Larry. Right, the record. Yeah. Bring Let, Coke. Let's have him like come the Coke same zero. day as, uh, yeah. <laughs> as Jimmy. Jimmy's probably gonna have a limo, so... We'll save some money there. Put him in the same mm. limo. Interviewing Larry with Jimmy as your co-host. Would Wait, be... that's iconic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, it would be good. I need Larry and Seaman to meet. Larry and Seaman. Oh, oh. no, 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 no. Those two can't meet. They'd be like, "Wait, I know you." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we met at, at the convention. That that you were explosive. the driver that day. <laughs> the bathhouse. <laughs> so uh, thanks for being here, guys. That's you're, the week. You're welcome. Thank you, Dad, for being here. You got it. Uh, we'll be back next week for another week of. Good times here in the H Street Podcast. You know how we do it. We might be having our tickets on sale next week. Really? Might. Is that hopeful? It's probably what. Uh, it's possible that it could be as soon as next week. Yeah. Okay. We're waiting for the final details. There's been a lot of back and forth with the venue, but it's okay. it's getting nailed down and we're getting close. But Exciting. it's like, I guess I shouldn't hype it yet because it's not finalized. Yeah. I don't, I'm not going to say the name, but the venue is absolutely. If we get the venue we're trying for, it will be. Awesome. Next level. Awesome. Next, next, awesome. next level. Um, it's so just be, a matter, nice. frankly, it's just a matter of price. Like, if it's really expensive and then it makes, because this is a very expensive venue, yeah. right. then if it makes the ticket super expensive, and then, it's then not worth it. I don't want to, Right. I don't yeah. want you guys to have to pay a ton of money to come see mm-hmm. the show. Mm-hmm. Like, so that's, that's the limiting factor. Yeah. So we'll see. But anyway, it's like a Christmas timeline. Yeah, yeah. It would, it would be the. It would probably be the finale, like we did last year. Fun. Yep. Do Craigsmas again, potentially. <laughs> All that good stuff. All right, y'all. I haven't peed this whole time, and I've been. Yeah, I don't know how. <laughs> I did twice. Thank y'all so. It's funny. In the middle of the night, I gotta get up and pee all the mm. time, but during the show, I can. Hold your Impressive. Through. Have a great weekend, guys. Love you all so much. Thank you to our members. Thank you yeah. to our Saudi benefactor who mm-hmm. generously. Five hundred today. today. Go ahead, Zach. Good luck to all the pregnant women. 500. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I got... Oh, I got and a- uh, thank you all for watching and for being here. It means so much, and I, I love it. Oh. And I love y'all. Have so, a great weekend. Look forward to seeing you guys next weekend. Next week, on Monday. Ta-ta.